guys, I'm Danny Johnson, CEO at TPP, the Positive Corpus. I'm Jason Miller for Fins Up SoCal Fan Club. I'm Scott Howell from Atlanta Dolphin Club. Mark Angelo, NorCal Dolphin Club. And you're, you're listening, listening to, to Clock Blockers, Miami, Miami fans, fans' number one morning show. Running, 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 running. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning on this beautiful Throwback Thursday. That's right. It's Throwback Thursday right here on the Miami Sports Music Podcast Network, the number one Miami fan morning show. I'm talking about clock blackers, baby. What is up, everybody? I am your host, none other than me, Stephen D. Stephen Daniels. You can follow me on all social media at... Stephen D, SKPL, spread kindness, positivity, and love. Hope you all are having a beautiful and wonderful morning. I got a little bit of a late start this morning. I have, um, you know, slept in a little bit. Uh, No, I got a couple kids. This is that gap week between summer camp starting every day and the end of the summer for that or the end of the school year that was for them. Um. I had my parent. My parents came up and got them for a couple, uh, a few, about a week and a half, um, and then yeah, this is a week that there's nothing, and then the rest of the summer is all booked. So yeah, it's kind of crazy trying to do the show in the mornings here with them, <laughs> and my wife's working a full time job in the other room, and she's doing her thing. What am I talking about? You guys know what it is. You guys have lives. You guys understand it. You get it. So I apologize for the tardiness this morning, but I want to say good morning to everybody. Uh, Clock Blockers, Miami fans, number one morning show presented by Tell Greeter. Uh, follow me on all social media at Stephen D S K P L. Spread kindness, positivity, and love. Make sure you all hit that like button on the way in. Give us the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Okay, so subscribe. Make sure you all do that. As a matter of fact, I'm making this a subscribers only chat. Okay, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, you can't chat. Okay, so make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. Get up in here, get up in here where you fit in, and make sure y'all do that. Also, sign up to become a member today. Okay, we had a couple new members this week. People have re up their their membership. I want to say uh, Concrete, Shake Money, Blue Virus, Raul, uh, Adam E. Sign up, uh, sign up to become a member. Become part of the family. Become part of the family. If you guys want to know how to do it, here's it's in the description below, but you all can do it right here in the link. You all can sign up and become a member of the channel. There's different tiers. The higher the tier, the cooler the membership you get. Okay? So, hey, support. Show love. Become a member of the family. And my Vin Diesel voice. Make sure you all do that today. Also, hey, look, if you want to donate to the channel and help the channel grow, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can use the YouTube Live Super Chat, which is the dollar sign below the chat you'll see a little box with a dollar sign in there you guys hit that you can hit super sticker or super chat you guys can do that if you're re-watching and you're not watching live right now although you're probably wa- most of you are watching live right now uh on replays they have what uh youtube has a new thing called super thanks it's a heart with a dollar sign in it so when you're replaying something you can show thanks that way and give thanks there too so make sure you all do that hit the super thanks button on anything you go back and watch over again uh, you can also use Cash App, uh, which is dollar sign MSM Podcast Network, or you can use the QR code in the screen below. Make sure you guys do that. Um, it's good stuff. All right. Make sure you also use PayPal, which is you can also use this QR code, and it's also MSM Podcast Network, Miami Sports Music Podcast Network. Helps the channel grow. Thanks for your donations. They go such a long way into helping the channel grow and being able to do cool stuff and bringing you great and amazing content, which we we have for you. Um, you know, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Want to give a big shout out to our sponsors of the show, ZSM Sports. Zachary at over at ZSM Sports is absolutely amazing. If you need sports memorabilia stuff, you make sure you go check out my man uh, at ZSM Sports. Okay? 
Make sure you all do that today. And our title sponsor of the show, as it is each and every day since the beginning of time, Tail Greeter. Make sure you go check out Tail Greeter. Download the app today on your current Apple or Android device. Just because football season isn't here doesn't mean the tailgate doesn't stop. They have all sorts of stuff for NASCAR and racing. They got stuff for baseball. They got stuff for everything, college sports, high school sports. Go to tailgreeter.com today or download the app on your current Apple or Android device and make sure you follow Tailgreeter at T-A-I-L-G-R-E-E-T-R on all social media. So big shout out to them. Hey, uh, if you guys are going to the Miami Dolphins Baltimore Ravens game in Baltimore week two, Tailgreeter is the place to do it. If you go download the app or go to the website, you will see the Baltimore Beatdown 2022 Dolphins versus Ravens, okay? We want you to come out for this thing. It's a, a great thing lined up for you. We got um, a tailgate, all you can eat, all you can drink, live DJ, food, prizes, raffles, giveaways, all that stuff. We have a ticket to the game up in the upper level, sitting with all Dolphins fans. And then uh, we also have um, a package that comes with both of those things with a little bit of a discount. So make sure you go to tailgreeter.com. Put in Baltimore Beatdown 2022 or Miami Dolphins, Baltimore Ravens. You'll see it. Do it. I want to see you there. Okay. And if you're if you already got a ticket to the game, get your tailgate with us. Okay. So look, you can you can do both things out today. All right. All right. Now that I got all that out the way, let me say good morning to everybody in the chat. Uh Ryan AP, member of seven months. Shout out to Ryan AP. Said fins up best morning show right here. I appreciate it, Ryan AP. Thank you very much. Uh, beautiful words coming from you. <clears throat> um, guys, by the way, that Baltimore beatdown, July 15th is the deadline to get all the stuff before the prices get jacked up. Um, so make sure you guys do that. Okay. Make sure you guys sign up. Um, get your stuff before July 15th. That's not too that's eight days away. So get your stuff. Um, because Baltimore Ravens want unused ticket backs, uh, uh, unused tickets that we're having sold back, and the caterers want the down payments uh, for what we're doing at the tailgate. Okay, so let's go. Uh, all right, hey, look, uh, let me say good morning to everybody uh, in the chat this morning. We got Omar Brown here, Cruz Ruiz. Guys, sign up. Become a member of the channel. Let's go. Become part of the family. Uh, good to see you guys. I miss you guys. Adam E. is in the building. Shout out to Adam. I appreciate your message yesterday. Just know uh, I'm always here for you, man. Uh, Flounder Pounder says, good morning, everyone. Jumping on a plane to go back home soon. So I'll miss the morning show, unfortunately. But you can always go back and replay it, Flounder Pounder. When you get home, on your drive home, just pop us on on YouTube. And there you go. You're good to go. Von Joe is in the building, a.k.a. Spawn Joe. Ryan A.P. Chef Zhu. Raul. Blue V1. Or Blue Virus. <laughs> Concrete. Shake Money. Good morning, my neighbors. It's another beautiful day in Zamunda. Shout out to you, Shake Money. Alan M. is in the building this morning. Uh, let's see here. Anthony Pelea, Chef Zhu, who else? Von Joe says, yeah, trust me, Stephen D. I get it, bro. Trust me. I get it. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, who else we got up in here this morning? Uh, Cap for Life. What's up, Cap? Good morning, beautiful people. Love it. Love it. Cruz says, I live two hours away from the Baltimore beatdown. Got to ask the boss lady. Cruz, get your tickets. Hurry up. Prices are going up. Uh, who else we got up in here? We got Lewis A. Lewis, uh, I love my man, Lewis. Lewis is that guy. Absolutely love you. Rashad, love that guy too. Ryan AP ain't never lied. Talking about the number one Miami fan morning show. I agree. I agree. Uh, Aldo, shout out to Aldo. Gotta love. Good man. Guys, if you want to get, if you live near Pembroke Pines, uh, in Southern Florida, okay? Um, Pembroke Pines, there's a great sub shop that Aldo owns called Hangry Owls. You got to go check out Hangry Owls, okay? Hangry Owls is the number one. Look, public subs, nah. Hangry Owls. Go get Hangry Owls in Pembroke Pines. Go check them out. Tell them Steven sent you. He'll knock a dollar off of your sub, okay? He'll knock a dollar off of whatever you get. Go check out Aldo's uh, or Hangry Owls over in Pembroke Pines. Tell them Clock Blockers and Steven D sent you. He'll, get, he'll give you a dollar off your sub. Tell them charge it to my bill. Uh, concrete is in the building. What's up? Anthony Manzano, Manza Chill, EM Baller. Um, <laughs> doing great now that Baker talk is done. We're going to talk a little bit about that this morning. Ryan AP. John Ruiz, what is up, morning? God bless you, brother. How are you? 
Dav and Nat Truth Matters. Bad Take David in the chat. Let's go. LOL. Love it. Love it. Let's see who else we got up in here this morning. Uh, just got listed on Yelp's top 100 in the state. Yeah, shout out to you, Hangry Owls. Love it. Got listed on Yelp's top 100 in the state. Guys, go check out Hangry Owls. That's awesome, man. Congratulations, man. <clears throat> this show, the people in the chat, fire. I agree. I agree. Lou, uh, level 2 Noob, shout out to Level 2 Noob. Uh, level 2 Noob always doing big things and has the best tweets. Guys, go follow Level 2 Noob on social media at level two noob go follow him on twitter it is the best twitter account you'll love it it's good stuff uh let's see here estefan let's see here uh who else we got anthony manzano all right all right so uh today we're gonna talk about a couple things and then i'll open up the, sh the show i'll open up the uh we'll do many panels i'm not gonna do a big panel today um don't follow me. Y'all just cry in my y'all will just cry in my mentions. Yeah, no, go follow him. Level two news worth to follow. Um, okay. Couple big things happened yesterday. We'll start with the very first place. So we get off the show. Um, I'm talking to some people, and all of a sudden, um actually, uh, I'm talking to Dolph Freaky, and we're just shooting the crap over the phone, talking about this coming up here. And all of a sudden, this comes across my screen. Breaking news, Panthers trade for Baker Mayfield. Um, it was. It was it was a crazy I didn't I didn't know exactly what to think because um you know I I've I heard a lot of rumors about Seattle. Seattle comes out, says they're not trading for him. Cleveland has been very adamant that they're not gonna trade him. Um, we're gonna keep him. And, you know, Deshaun Watson still could get, you know, suspended. So who know who knew what was going on there? Um, and then yesterday there was a rumor that there were four big teams that were really interested in the Panthers. I think we're one of those teams. Um, and then yesterday it was said that, uh, you know, Hey, look, the Panthers are going to acquire the former number one overall pick Baker Mayfield for the Browns for a 2024 conditional fifth round draft pick deals, pending a physical, all parties split the financials. Not only did they have to give up absolutely nothing, Carolina. But they also are not paying the majority of his contract. They're not. The Browns will pay Baker Mayfield $10.5 million this year. Let me state that again for you guys. The Browns will pay $10.5 million of his, of his contract. Um. It's good stuff. Shout out to uh, Shake Money. He said, sent you a PayPal donation. Please read the note. It says, consider this my monthly membership fee under the table, LOL. $15. I appreciate the donation, Shake Money. Thank you very much on PayPal. You're the man, brother. Thank you. Um, And then, uh, so they're paying 10.5, which means they trimmed over $8 million in cash and salary cap. And the Panthers will pay Mayfield $5 million. And Mayfield agreed to chim to $3.5 million based off his base salary. So, let me state this again. The Panthers had to give up a fifth-round pick, which I think is a conditional fourth, and are only going to end up paying him $3.5 to $5 million this year. And they majorly upgraded from Sam Darnold being their starting quarterback to Baker Mayfield. So, this is a lopsided trade if I've ever seen one. It makes me think, what are quarterbacks worth in today's NFL? And when, because I see weird trades happen. Like, you go back through the history of trades in the NFL when it comes to quarterbacks in the last five years, right? Josh Rosen, we had to give up a second-round pick for. And Baker Mayfield is way better than Josh Rosen ever was. Right or wrong? Right? So how is Baker Mayfield only worth a fifth round, maybe fourth round pick? So I, I've come to the conclusion that it has to do with with availability of a team because I th it makes me think that Carolina played it as we're perfectly content with going with Sam Darnold week one. <laughs> and it also makes me think that, man, Cleveland really didn't really wanted him out of Cleveland despite what they said. 
despite what they said. So it, it's 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 interesting. I, I, look, Carolina won this deal as far as I'm concerned. They didn't have to give up much. They got a former number one overall pick who's the starting quarterback in the NFL. Um, you can say what you want about maturity issues or anything like that, but let's let's call a spade a spade. Like Baker Mayfield is a major upgrade over Sam Darnold. So the Carolina Panthers won in the situation. They did. Now, from the standpoint of Cleveland, look, Cleveland, this this trade, this this whole situation that they're in could come back to haunt them down the road, right? Who knows what the, the outcome or, or the, the outlook looks for Deshaun. Um, we don't know how much he's going to play this year. Is he going to play the whole year? Is he going to get suspended? Whatever the case may be. Are we going to see Jacoby Brissett? I think Brissett's there, right? I think he's the backup there. So is he going to start the first few games there? So it, it will be, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in that Cleveland situation because, you know, Cleveland is one of those teams that you know let's let's call it what it is. They are a playoff caliber team, definitely with the roster structured as is with Deshaun. Maybe some people even call them a Super Bowl contender. I, I'm border, I'm borderline on it. I think they're they're definitely a playoff contending team. But let's say Deshaun gets suspended for eight weeks or a year, you know, or heck, even four four to six weeks, whatever the case is, he gets suspended for any period amount of time. Brissett's the guy that you're going with as your starter, not Baker. And so it'll be interesting to see because it plays. Uh, in account to the rest of the AFC, it plays into uh, the wild card. Um, it, it will be very interesting to see how that works. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. Now, with that being also said, I know Mr. Pete, Pete's takes, who I love. Pete, I'll have you come on in a little while. I know you want to talk about this because it was funny yesterday. Pete was like, let's go get Baker. Let's go get Baker. Pete, you're crazy with your take, okay? We love you, okay? I love you. But uh, I wanted to know how you felt yesterday. So if you want to put that in the chat, how you really felt when you saw the trade go down. Um, yeah. I'm going back to sleep. Wake me up when Miami has a great quarterback again. Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> I, I love you, dude. I do. You are funny. Um, so look, it, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. But I thought it was a, a very interesting trade yesterday. And... Um, you know, I'll say that Carolina won that trade. Carolina won that trade. All right. Enough about that. So, you know, look, one of the things that that it's the off season where we're practically a couple weeks away from training camp. But we're in that dead zone of, of what to talk about. And I think one of the things that's always intrigued me is NFL realignment. So I wanted to discuss that a little bit with you all today and just kind of, you know, see what you all thought about it. Get y'all's takes on it, how y'all saw it. So the NFL for years, obviously, has this has been somewhat of an issue. Um, there are teams that are in the AFC, you know, north. The Dolphins are in the AFC East, but all the other teams are in the north. You know, um, there are teams, you know, the, the, the Kansas City Chiefs are in the AFC West. But are they in the West, really? Um, there are a lot of teams that, you know, the, the the Dallas Cowboys are in the NFC East. But technically, they're in the central part of America. And all the other teams, Philly, New York, Washington, all right there in that same corridor. So people have talked about, you know, are rivalries bigger than, um, you know, where people are aligned at within their respective divisions. You go back and you look at when uh, the NFL did a little bit of NFL realignment uh, years back. Because remember, Indianapolis used to be in our division in the AFC East. You used to have to play them twice a year. Um, they go, they move to the AFC South. Indianapolis isn't in the South. Why wasn't it Miami that was in, in the NFC South? Uh, or the AFC, uh, the AFC South, excuse me. So the these are very interesting topics from the standpoint of how do you do it. So somebody threw this out there on social media. I want to share it. I think it's really cool. Um, here is some NFL realignment, and I wanted to discuss it with you. So Pacific, I think it's great. 
Seattle, San Fran, LA, LA, right? The Big Sky Division, you would have uh, Vegas, Arizona, Denver, and then obviously Kansas City. The Great Lakes West, Minnesota, Green Bay, Chicago, Indy. The South, you would have Tennessee, Dallas, Houston, um, New Orleans, Atlantic Division, which I also think would be another. I like these names, by the way. Um, Atlanta, Jacksonville, Tampa, Miami, Mid-Atlantic, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Washington, Carolina, Northeast, New England, New York, New York, Philly, and the Great Lakes East, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Detroit. All these make sense to me. All these make sense to me. Now, the question is, do people want it? That's one. I know Roger Goodell. I saw your your comment level two, noob. I know Roger, Roger Goodell is going to say that because here's the thing. People don't want to mess with, you know, the history of football. But I think it's worth the conversation to at least discuss and say, you know, look, the NFL has been going overseas for the last four years. Are they ever going to put a permanent team in in London? Interesting to know. Right? That'll be interesting to know. Um, and I think that all plays into an account here. Why are the – why? And, and look, there's rumors – that the Dolphins twice had an opportunity to move out of the AFC East over the last 30 years. They were supposedly the first team that the NFL approached about moving to the AFC South. It wasn't Indy, it was us. You know, so it, it, it's 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 interesting to kind of see what NFL realignment looks like. You know, why would it, from a from a scheduling standpoint, it makes sense. And and here's the other thing, too. I think it would make rivalries. Look, would we lose the Jets and the Patriots and the Bills? Yeah, we would. But, you know, I think it would be better to beat up on Tampa Bay and, and Jacksonville and Atlanta every year. We'd win the division all the time. I'm good with that. Um, I don't know. I It's interesting to see. I, I, I If I'm honest with you guys, I'm indifferent about it. If it happened, I would miss the rivalries with the Bills, the Jets, and the Patriots. But I also think that from a standpoint of what would be best for our franchise moving forward, hey, look, I think that it, that it would. I'm just being honest with you. Um, so I'd like to know what you guys think. It'll be very interesting. So I'm going to open up the chat lines. I'm going to open it up to you all. Y'all can come on. You can talk about the Baker Mayfield trade. You can talk about NFL realignment. Um, it'll be very it'll be very, very interesting to, to see here today what you guys think about it. Uh, Mark NorCal said uh, Miami would benefit big time to realign divisions. Miami travels the most to play division road games. They do. They do. It's it's very interesting to see. I, you bring up such a good point there, right? Um, that they they do play, they do travel the most out of anybody. Kansas City, are you sure Kansas City doesn't? Kansas City doesn't travel more than us? That'd be interesting to know. Uh, no bad weather games. That's true. You wouldn't have to worry about snow. Except for, you know, whatever team you're playing that year. There's also the rumor that, you know, the way the NFL... It, it, look, it, it, hockey did it. Hockey realigned some stuff. They changed their divisions. I don't understand why the NFL so st- stuck up on not doing this. I think it makes sense. That's just my personal opinion. Um, Miami's closest road division game over a thousand miles away. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. If gas prices keep going up, they'll realign my region. (laughs) That's true. That is totally true. Definitely. All right. Let me bring on the first guest I have for today. Irving Figaro. What's up, Irving? Irving, you there, bud? Hey, what's good, Steven? Good morning, bud. How you doing? Pretty good. Good morning. How are you? 
Uh, nothing much, man. Just listening to your show. I was just shocked. I was actually surprised by the news of Baker Mayfield going to Carolina. Very I didn't know it was going right? to happen this early. I don't know if it's going to happen this early. So, um, yeah, I I totally I totally knew that the the um, the Miami the that that Baker Mayfield was going to get traded. I was about to say the Miami Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Um, that Baker oh, Mayfield you're most was going to get traded. There. I know, I know, right? <laughs> um, I knew I knew that Baker Mayfield would get traded. I just I didn't know who was going to budge first. Because we've seen right. a lot of times in the NFL where people are playing, you know, chicken, the player in the team. And mm-hmm. I felt like that's what was going on here. But I was surprised that how much they got rid of him for. They did they, they basically for a fifth round pick, huh? That's a that's a that's a, that's a steal. It's it's insane. Wow. It's insane what they had to get that they they gave up nothing essentially. Yeah. Basically a bag of peanuts. <laughs> a bag of chips. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, all right, let me bring on uh, David. Good morning, David. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who cares what's going on? Who cares about Baker? Who cares about the alignment? Let's talk about something real. Go to Batman's party on Saturday. That's what we need to do. Well, shout out to That's Batman. That's the most important. I don't know that. His birthday bash on Saturday. That's where we need to go. How did I get but- timed out so quick, level two noob? All right, wow. y'all got it for ten minutes. No, come on to the show. I don't no. want everybody to leave. Uh, so Already, but what did he say? <laughs> you guys are man. Yeah, and, and this, this is what hurts the NFL guys. That the traditional fans, that the old school fans, don't. They, they're afraid that the rivalries are going to, to like. Get I don't care about rivalries. I don't care about none of that stuff. Uh, and I I'm mean, still gonna hate rivalries... the Jets. I'm still gonna hate Buffalo. And I'm still gonna hate all the all the rest of the teams R- besides my rivalries are always still gonna be alive in the NFL. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You can still have yeah, a, you can still have the rivalries on the schedule. You don't have to be in the same division division and stuff like that. The, yeah, the you could always why... have your intercon. Yeah, you can always have your conference rivals too. Yeah, I mean yeah. the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> like for example, like in the '90s, the Dallas Cowboys hated the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> Even going back to the '80s too, like the Packers hated the Cowboys back in since the like the 1967 Ice Bowl. Like it happens, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah no, and, and for me, this is why the tradi- like this is what hurts the NFL. They let the they let the traditional old school fans control the way they're thinking because they they don't want to lose them and stuff like that so you're saying a billion lose. dollar industry the, the that's what's wrong with the the nfl they're making billions of dollars that'll make sense no, no not money i'm talking about uh, they, they're so talking about the rivalries about, <laughs> no they're they're worried they're, they're so worried about tradition that that's why they're not getting new fans and so that like makes that, that makes rivalry obsolete who cares about rivalry then because now we got to think new instead of the old way. Because then rivalries don't mean nothing if you're going to think the old way or the new way. No, I just no, think, you can I think still rivalries have the rival- are, you, no. No, rivalries are always going to be part of the game. It's just the game is just getting faster. So, it's getting more spread out. It's, you know, players are becoming more athletic. You yeah, know, but, you know what but, I'm the, but that yeah, has nothing to do with rivalries. It has to do with speed and athleticism. Right, right. No, the rivalries but, but are going to so be part of the game. The tradition, the, You'll make new ones if you switch it. Uh, they, they, now, I, I, so... I, I get it. Like, amongst the players, like, they're now they're buddy-buddy. Now, you know, they're always complimenting each other, exchanging jerseys and stuff like well, that. Like, well, the thing it, is, it's is more of a nicer league than they, back then. Like back then, they were more they on their face, it, though, more uh, on their neck. Irvin, if they switch it, we can't hate the Jets as much as we hate them now, because then we're gonna hate Tampa and we gotta hate Atlanta and whatever in Jacksonville. Hate them you more mean, because if they, get, if they get rid of their, you, what do you mean? Like if they get rid of the divisions, like and yes. just make and everything go, conference. Uh, do the conference what Stephen put on the what you uh, on the oh, um, screen? Oh, okay, okay. Yes, thank oh, you, Stephen. More regional, okay. Yes. No, well, no, you well, can, no, David. That's the issue. You can still, you can still have your no because you can't play the same teams uh, that are not in your conference every year. You got to switch it up. What are you talking well, about? I, I will say this: we have a better chance of winning our division. We don't have to play the Bills anymore. 
or the Patriots. I, w- I want to play the best. Forget about that. What are you guys talking about here? No, I'm just saying. Like, the, All right, like I'm the, back. Um, Welcome to Noob. Wave the remainder of my time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Steven, I'm just waiting anything. for him to do that to me. Uh, hey, Steven, um, I have a question for you. When it comes to the alignment thing, do you, you agree with me? Do you think the NFL is so catering to the traditional fans that oh, well, they're uh, so I, I, of, like I, – I think it's I think it's a fair question, right? I think that the uh, the NFL is worried about tradition, the tradition of the NFL. So, like, I, I, I that's why, like, I don't think you'll see the Dolphins ever leave the AFC East, right? Um, I don't think you'll ever see the Chiefs leave the like the Chiefs and Chargers, the Chiefs and the Raiders. Those are huge rivalries. People look look for those you games still in the have NFL. Those rivalries on the schedule. But you, you wouldn't be able to have it. Year. But you wouldn't be able to have it every year. And I think that that's some of the issues with realignment is you would lose yearly rivalry games. You're stuck. See, this is this is why I this is I hate that we're so catering to the tradition that we're refusing to uh, evolve the game and stuff like okay, that. Okay, so so all right, so Tony, let me ask you a couple questions then, bud. Number one. If you do, and I'll bring in Roach into the conversation. Good morning, Roach. How are what you, up? brother? Roach. Hey, Roach. Right. How are you guys? All right, so, so t- Tony, let me let me ask you a quick question there, bud. If you I, I, first question is a yes or a no. You are for NFL realignment. You think that would it would be a good thing? Is right? Papa Roach? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm for realignment. Okay, like, all right. I'm not, Number I'm two, what what are what are from a fan perspective? A pro for NFL realignment from a fan perspective. That's what the NBA was trying to do. They were trying to get rid of the divisions and make everybody like play, get rid of the conference and just make everybody play like in a like college basketball type of ranking. Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Yeah, answer the question. Okay, one of my pros is less having to worry about less travel. Like for my, as a Miami fan, I can. I can go to Tampa and Jacksonville games and Atlanta games a lot easier than having to work. Fair. If I wanted to go to fair. There. That's like, a fair. You, that's a fair it's answer. A dri- it's driving. Like. So so Tampa, so as a as Atlanta's a as a Dolph hours. as a Dolphins fan, you would travel to more away games because it would be closer for you to do it. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So fair. You, yeah, and another pro is. I understand the teams have their own private jets and they don't have to worry about this. They can only, they don't have to fly. They can drive buses. Although. It, okay. It saves- so, but see, but see, now we're talking, now we're saving money. That's a team thing. That's not a, fans don't care how they get to the game. No, you no, know? no. Is uh, this an actual possibility fan, or is yeah. this just a what if? This is a what oh, if. Oh, somebody I, pay 10. T- t- Tony, I- I'll see you back in 10 minutes, brother. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> All right, l- l- let me bring on Sharif and Shake Money. What's up, gentlemen? Shake, so, shake. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I just want to make one quick point. The thing about this traditionalist, I don't believe in that because number th- here's here's why. Number one, if there was for the traditionalist, traditionalist, whatever, we wouldn't have celebrations in the NFL. We wouldn't have longer schedules. So there, this the NFL is evolving. So the the fact that uh, we're talking about traditionalists, it, it doesn't make sense because we made too many changes for these traditionalists uh, to be. You know, what I'm saying they're still pissed off because of the tackling rules that we implemented, the kick kickoff teams that we implemented. So there's a lot of things. Yeah, uh, from, even the uniform that, changes, the that, color that, rushes. That that that's a that's a. That's a game perspective, right? That's how the NFL's evolved as as a whole, as a game. But does NFL realignment evolve the game, and is it needed? I believe I'll it is that needed. Later. Because I, I believe it is needed because, to yeah. be honest with you, there's no way that Indianapolis is further south than Miami. I, I don't disagree. So the way that, that's the other thing. So the way it currently structured as is, the names and the specific, like, why is Indy in the AFC South? It makes no sense. They shouldn't be. It's because we know? refuse to leave the East. That is. That is. That, that, and so that. that so that's change the name been. instead of the, the, the teams. Change the name. Well, that's, that's what happens here, right? Like they change the name. So they call it the Atlantic Division, the South yeah, Division, but, the Mid-Atlantic. But no, keep the, keep the, call, the division, but just change the names. 
Well, so here's here's something. So no that, more conferences, just straight divisions. Well, I mean, so that's a possibility, right? The other thing is what baseball did this. Year. So baseball starting next year. If I'm in the if I'm in the um, AL East, I would play. Um, Tampa Bay plays the Red Sox, the Yankees, and the Orioles 19 times each out of the year. Well, starting next year, I think, or the year after, they're going to 13 games a year. And what this allows to do is six times whatever is allow allows them to play instead of seeing the San Francisco Giants every eight years or the Chicago Cubs every eight years. And now it allows them to pl- see these teams more in a two-year period instead of an eight-year period. So- and and what, one last thing before I go, um, I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna leave now. But I think one of the reasons why why Miami does not want to lose the AFC East title is because we have so many New York and New England transplants in there that that's that's a guaranteed uh, sold-out uh, uh, game when they play New England, when they play Buffalo, and then when they play the Jets. So that's why they probably don't want to lose it. All right, y'all have a good one. All right. All right, shake, shake. Hey, Let me bring on. Morning, with morning, guys. Maybe we can get with the Cowboys. Hello, Giants, color. Eagles. We'll be good there. Oh, whose point you're gonna count? Whose point you're hey, gonna beat count? Beat writer, what's going on, beat writer? Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing this morning? Good, good, sure. I'm, this, I'm this totally you. with. I'm totally with level two noob. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Absolutely. Well, How's it the, that why is it? No, okay. Let me let me let me be <laughs> fair. Everything. You can't say that about everything and that be the dumbest <laughs> let, thing that you ever. Let me said. be fair. Let me be fair. <laughs> alignment, alignment, realignment is needed because there is a few fallacies that are just ridiculous. But Miami being in the East instead of the South is not a fallacy. And to me, it's like you could you could make an argument for either which means based on the tradition and the rivalries, you keep it the same. We are just as far east as we are south. You know what I mean? And I'm, 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 not, I'm, not deny- I'm not arguing with you that on color. I'm just saying, like, it makes more sense that Miami would have been the team to move to the AFC South compared to Indianapolis. Instead right? of Indy, I could see that. Ar- I mean, obviously, that's a logical argument that's hard to debate. You know what I mean? But, yeah. and, then, and, then, and then from the purely standpoint – is NFL realignment something that is needed? Like well, who's in the South? I mean, who's in the South? We got Texans, uh, Jags. Jags. Uh, um, Indy. Carol- oh, no, Titans. Carolina's in NFC. Indy and Tennessee. And Tennessee. And the Tennessee. T- see, Tennessee, you can make a case for, you know. Uh, They're below uh, the Mason-Dixon line. They're the South. Right. So who's so who's in the East then? We got Buffalo, New York, They're all New East. England. They They're should all. East. Why They're wouldn't East. they be in the North? I, I, so, They're further north than Pittsburgh in, in in the AFC North team. So so <laughs> color. I'm telling you, currently constructed as is, you it, 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 it the AFC sor- AFC East, AFC South, AFC, what there are teams that should not be in there based on the names or where they're. See, they should have never. Right? They should have never done north, south, east, and west to begin with. They should have had it the same as it was before. Uh, east, central, and west. And if you wanted to add a fourth, you could have done like, you know, Midwest or something, or you know. But but to go east, north, south, and west, that it never it w- that would have never worked. There's always well, be all right. Fallacies. So so all right. So so, uh, Sharif, do you have anything to say on this? Because I want to ask Color a question, and I know you got. Um, it. I well, I kind of you know when I think rankings, I would I would invite that, but I, I would. Be cool with if it stays the same. Yeah, that's all my right. take. All right, all right. So, so color. Let me, let me, let me ask you a question here, dude. If the Miami Dolphins were to, or if the NFL in just were to just go like you, you see this, right? You did you were you watching yeah. when I showed? Yeah, you? yeah. Would you be opposed to this? Because yes, absolutely. I mean, why? you, I, I would be indifferent to moving Miami to the south. Like if that's what they did, I wouldn't cry over it because it does make sense. But this nonsense, this is like watching a like the, uh, some college division or something. <laughs> like, what is this? Great Lakes East? Seriously? That's like, 
It, that's too. Spe it's too specific. This for color. Me. This looks like the thing where you can vote in Brazil for the dolphins. To, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's you can just actually too specific. Vote. It's just too specific, in my opinion. Yeah, it's actually a thing in Brazil where you can vote, and it but if takes. You, but, it, but if you're gonna if you're gonna do realignment, hmm. why not just do the entire NFL and then just break it down from that standpoint? So maybe you don't call it the Great Lakes Big East, but it makes sense that all those teams are together. Well, that's like what I'm them. saying. You could have done instead of uh, instead of going uh, with a compass rose, they could have just added the fourth division being the Midwest or, okay. you know, the Upper North or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so uh, far east. <laughs> do you think this is the? Uh, uh, do you think this is something the NFL truly ever considers? I know what. Oh sure. What Roger Goodell says, but I I I think he said that to appease the traditionalist within the fan base. And I do think the NFL is considering this. Maybe not next year. Well, they always not do the because after, they always do because there's money involved. So if they, if hundred percent, they, they're always reevaluating the algorithm and applying it and saying, is there more money to be made if we do it with this configuration? You know, it's going to take the incorporation of an international team for them to do anything. I think. I That's I agree with that. So you live in Jacksonville, Roach. Yep. Do Jacksonville fans think that the Jaguars are going to stay there? Or are they of the mindset that um, one day that team's going to move to Jacksonville? They used or to. Or to London. There was a huge fear of moving to London. But now they got, holy crap, that cricket is loud as hell. I know, I can hear it. <laughs> like, <what the? laughs> um, so they used to. But the thing is, now that they're building their whole, their whole, what do you call it, event center. Like they just bought like $10 million worth of real estate on the riverfront of Jacksonville. The Jaguars did. Yep. They're building wow, the hotels there. Jaguars have hotels, bars, everything you can think of. They even got the AEW. The Jaguars owner's son owns the AEW, which is headquartered on that same plaza. Okay, but my but do, So it, I don't see them moving at all. Like nobody's okay. scared anymore because they bought that big plot of land. Okay. All right. Well, and so all right, to the to the rest of the panel, do you guys ever see an international team in the NFL? I hope not. I mean, probably because we're talking about you know pro uh, profit margin, but I don't know if it's I don't know if it's really the right thing to do. I mean, I used to think it'd be Toronto. That's what I used. To, I used to think it was. If you're talking cool. Canadian, thought, then, I, 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 if so, you're talking well, Canadian yeah, or different. Mexican team, I, but if yeah, you. if you're talking Canadian or Mexican teams, then yeah, that makes sense I, because I, you know. I, I, I'll, tell, I, I'll tell you what, Roach. You bring up a Latin good point. before team. Buffalo Sorry. got the year agreement for the new stadium. I was I was like, man, Buffalo is going to move to Toronto. Oh, yeah. But, but then they, they got their good. agreement for the new uh, arena in in uh, Orchard Park. Buffalo used to play games in Toronto. If y'all, they remember. played one home game a year for like four or five years. Yeah, I feel like. and everybody. Can, back I, can home I ask the best was, uh, question to the panel, about it. Steven? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. Um, now that I have color hair and, and I think a few new Dolphin fans, I, I've been studying the, the um, defense like two months ago. All right, hold on. Are you? Are you, Is it? Does it have to do with realignment, or is it? Is it Dolphins? Is it a Dolphins? It, yeah, it's Dolphins. All right, all right hold you. on, hold on. Yeah, I want. I want to finish this conversation. So, but, but so Buffalo. All right. So then the, the other question is because I wanted to get into this. Does the NFL expand? Do you see the NFL going to another city or cities in the next couple of years? But it has to do with money. Anything's possible. St. Louis are, has are, to have a team. I was like, Sorry. St. Louis has to have a team, right? Can you pull up the map again? Yeah. I can and tell San, you one. And I feel like I think San the Chargers, I think the Chargers I, should have moved I would to St. Say, Louis I would to say begin this, with. Steven. Is there a big There's gap a lot, in the country? I would say this, Stephen. There's a lot of combined yeah. network um, where I see. The, ne the next NFL team will be owned by more than five people. And, th and there may be um, a, some minorities in that because that's the direction I see. I, I know a lot, me personally, I know a lot of people who are millionaires um, because of the network I'm in. And these are the kind of people who want to be joint into, into owning teams, L like how Serena. I don't know if Serena has sold some of the Dolphins back to uh, Stephen Ross, but there's a percentage of Serena, J-Lo, do you you guys know that right? J Lo yeah. owns Tyree Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but but 
I will say that, like, yeah, so the Dolphins were, like, one of the first teams to allow minority ownership or, like, small percentage ownerships. So I think the next like, team, Stephen, but would I, be minority I, combined owned, maybe. Hey, I agree. Hey, Stephen, so, could I finish question, what I was saying earlier? Hold, hold on, Tony. But, but, but I, think, I think that part of realignment is also, I agree to Roach, it would either be what would have, there would have to be something to trigger that. Is it an international team? Is it an expansion within the league? San Diego, St. Louis. I, I'm trying to think of other cities that the NFL would be good in. Who are the, Char- the Chargers? Should be forced to move to St. Louis, in my opinion. Their the mascot Chargers? is the mascot is perfect for it. They got robbed. <laughs> they don't belong in Los Angeles, and everybody knows it. Well, they, I mean, so right. they don't own that stadium. That's the Ram Stadium, right? So they right. rent they rent it out. So the Chargers are a prime team that could. They're still shoehorning. And the, that next o- the owner years. of the Chargers wants in on the Los Angeles pie, and he shoehorned that team yeah. into Los Angeles. I like what Adam, Adam E says: St. Louis, Toronto, Vancouver, Mexico City. Those would be interesting uh, expansion teams. Actually, at, when it comes to expansion, how about bringing? Since we're trying to get a huge market into Europe, how about? Ex- uh, having a branch of the uh, bring back NFL Europe because we already have the well, infrastructure there. The problem with I, that I would, is Stephen, I would say Toronto. Free. Maybe Toronto would be the first team to be added to the that's NFL. That's not going to happen, guys. That's, that's not going to happen, though. Tony, the CFL. They'd be the in, they'd be in Buffalo State. Go ahead, Roach. Go ahead. The Roach. Problem with the European thing, you can't just bring one team to Europe. You have to bring a whole new division to Europe. Because that team would have no, to travel a whole new so league. much and it, over to the United States to play games. To one team, but if they had a whole division, they could play those division games that would spread out the amount of travel they have. To right, play. six of their games would be yeah. in would be in Europe. Right. I so honestly that, that, think the first team to, that will try this will be the NBA. The if the if any professional league expands to across the pond, either way, it'll be the NBA trying. Where it. are they going? China. Uh, well, I think the NBA would try would try there. I think they have a good thing in Australia too. Uh, but I think you're right. You know, I, I think that you bring up a good point because I'm getting bad feedback from somebody. By the way, I don't know who it is. Is it? Is it? Hello, hello, hello. All right, it was Sharif. Sharif, I was getting bad feedback from you. Yeah, um, no, and, and Steve, sorry about actually, that. Actually, I disagree. You're good, bro. I just I disagree with Roach. Actually, Roach, what? I- well, see, Go ahead, that's Tony. what you, that's what you get when you disagree with Roach, with Roach. man. Roach he, hits that, you off. he hits that flat <laughs> earth button, man, and you're done. <laughs> I actually, I, I do believe the earth is round. I had to shoot rockets and missiles, and you have to use a Corey Hulse effect. What, what's up, what's up Cap for <laughs> Thank Life? Thank you, Roach. What's up, Cap for Life? Hey, good, good morning, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Color, man. If we start to struggle more this season... It, uh, it's about time that you get us the hell out of the East and just put us where we belong in the <laughs> South, man. I, I'm, I'm with that already. Get, get us out of here, man. Well, I right, so let me let me ask you the question because some people are like, that's such a, a uh, I, I don't want to use the word, but I mean, it's what people, it's a coward thing to say, to say, hey, look, because we're not good enough to be in the AFC East, why wouldn't we go to a, a weaker division and try to do better there? Is there anything wrong with saying that? 27 years, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah because what makes, it, what, what makes yeah, us think it's a weaker division? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'll just turn, it'll just, it'll just, the only team division. that's ahead of us is Buffalo. Everything, everybody cyclical. else is behind us. It's cyclical. Yeah. Every division yeah. has their day, man. If you're going to do it, why would you do <laughs> it? Except for us, man. I don't, I don't get it. No, they, would, well, our division wait. has had its day. Well, I, so, I'll tell you what. Could, uh, I, so you guys know if we were in the AFC South, we would have won a couple of division titles. In the last Just who? That, that's hypothetical. I believe that we would. That's would've. what I'm saying. I believe so. I believe we would have. Yeah. But but why do it now? Why wouldn't you do it during the Patriots dynasty? You know what I mean? I mean, if we keep getting our ass kicked, like we're gonna have to call the up, only you know, reason why, the only reason why is because I'm that we had Tom Brady in our division for 20 years. I'm with level two. Y'all are soft. Grab your purses and go root for the Jets, man. Yeah, right. I, I, look, I'm wait. Merely, they're in the same I'm division. Merely, That'll solve our problem. I'm, I'm merely bring up, <laughs> I merely bring up the point because uh, a I 
I think it's a a it's a different conversation than talking about Tua for three hours every day. But B, it's also another interesting point because I do think that the NFL. Steven, swear, John, you said the T word. I I do think that the NFL is considering realignment in the next five to ten years. Yeah, I agree. I think they are. Yeah, uh, and Steven, do do you? What are your guys' opinions on what I said about when you uh, have expansion, you have no choice but to realign? I think I go that's hand what, in hand. That's what Roach says. Roach says if they expand, there's going to be realignment. Bro, and we're I literally talking about moving divisions so that we could win more games. Are we? Well, that that that, 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 that com- I so agree that, with Colin. That com- now, so that goes back to the point, though, as Dolphins. The Dolphins supposedly had two times in the last 30 years to move divisions. They did when, uh, whatchamacallit, Indy went to the AFC South. We were supposed, allegedly, we were the team that was called first to say, hey, do you guys want to go to the AFC South? And then the second thing that was also, uh, this, there was a second time too, and I think that might have been in the 70s, 80s maybe. Um or it actually, no, late, it was, it was when Baltimore, it was in when Baltimore got expanded that we were also asked then, do we want to, I think. Yeah, why is Baltimore time, not in the East? I think, I think that those are the two times when Indy went and when we, and when Baltimore expanded were the two times that we it's were It's like asked. why the Los Angeles Lakers are called the Lakers or the Jazz from Utah are called the Jazz. Well, the Jazz well, the, originally the were from New Orleans. And the Lakers were originally from Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, and for, and for me, the I'm not saying I don't want to stay in the East, but travel rise as fans, it would make more sense for us to be in the in the South with Tampa, Jacksonville, and Atlanta because we could just drive to Atlanta. We can drive to Atlanta instead. You know, and so, so Tony, I get that point, but I'll be honest with you. I don't. I thought it's because of- our geographic is we're the South. I agree. I agree with that. But from Tony's standpoint, I. I don't think it's has. I don't think more fans are going to show up to Tampa compared to New York. That's just my personal opinion. You know, I, I no. we play we played games in Tampa before, and Tampa's still over their fan base. Their fan and base. There is, is just, something to be said for the fact that half the teams are comprised of people that come from all over the country. Over, correct. You, you're going to have six games every year in the South in the heat of the South. Come on, man. How many of us going to do you nothing? How, out of all of us on the panel, how many of us live in South Florida? I Check. live on the West Coast near. Tampa. Okay, so, so you live near Tampa. I'm all in right. Palm Beach County. All right, so color, you're 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 close, I guess, right? I'm Cats in Palm Beach close. County. I'm and, in Fort Lauderdale. All right, so that's three. So three out of not even half of our people live close to the Dolphins. You know, they don't. What's up? What's up, Spawn Joe? Hey Joe. What's up? What's up, Stephen? I just wanted to make it. I'm going to be real quick, and just to get this conversation. Clanging and bang. Some people don't want to move because deep inside, Stephen, some people are massacred. They're gluttony for punishment. They want to stay in the AFC East and, live, and be miserable. Right? So, uh, so, wow. I'm actually surprised you so, have this mindset. Wait. So you you would no, be able to get majority. out of there. You don't think we can? Wow. Is that what he's saying? Uh-huh. He's I'm very surprised Bon Joe has this mindset. <laughs> I, listen, I am straight. I just want to win. I don't care how it comes by. I just want to win. So you right. – So you – So get so me the hell out of the If it gives us a better chance to win – why yep. not do it? Yep. If I can get if I can get my team into a better chance to get into the playoffs. Bon Joe, you need to stop do. working out, bro. Let me finish. Soft. Let because... me get into the... Exactly. Down Bay looks soft like you. But anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm soft. <laughs> okay. Well, well level two uh... dude was going to say that you're soft. He's but the reason soft. being know, is I because know that. Von Joe, Von Joe. Stop working out. I'm... Well, the color. The reason, color. I know, what, I know what you're about band. to ask. I know what you're about to ask. And the reason is that time keeps moving on which means they're not always going to be crap divisions. We can't go on like, oh, we're going to get more wins if we move a division. We just got to beat the team in front of us. It don't matter, don't okay. matter what division okay, hold we're on, in. Color. Color, when's the last time the Texans were great? Oh, um, please stop it. They beat I, well, it. First, they, well, the first five years, they, they beat us bad. Hold on, hold on. They were in the playoffs consistently under Bill O'Brien when Deshaun Watson first got there. Okay. He's no longer there. Okay, cool. So where's where? Who else? Well, is no there? longer. Who that, the that, that assumes who they're going to the go South? have a bad quarterback so for Houston, the rest of the time. Jacksonville. 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 
Jacksonville who's coming been up, great man. in how long? Who's coming they up? Been great. And, and, right, been, right, right, because right, they, right, 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 because they all of a sudden hired a decent coach. That can happen at any time for any Indiana, team. Indianapolis. You guys forget when they had the the, the, the what you call it? They're going to the playoffs, Jacksonville. You forgot? You guys forgot about that? Yeah, so they went to the playoffs okay, so with, with Blake this. Bortles, dude. In Tennessee. So let's do the, so. Let's do this exercise. The last twenty years of us not being in the playoffs, right? Level two Would said, put down fit- those weights and go grab a cupcake, Bon Joe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm cutting my carbs. Sorry, level two, can't do it. Um, but <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, if you, the last one, let's just look at our last 20 years, right? If we were in the South, would we have been in the playoffs, yes or no? It's a, easy, yes. it's a real exercise. We don't know. It's a, real, no, it's a hypothetical. I, I, we don't know. I, I, that, no, it's not know, hypothetical. But, you can look at records. We would have had two of bro. We would have had two of bars. The Jags. Yes, look at records. Yes, look at Dolphins were, records in the last 20 years. Let yes. Me, hold on, guys. The Jags were on the brink of the Super Bowl with Blake Bortles. Yeah. And exactly. I'll, do, I'll do you one better. Where were Is we? That, it let, it, it, and you guys were like, well, go look at the records. We wouldn't have played the Jets and the Patriots. And the and and Buffalo six six no no year. we would have no we would have played the Jacksonville Jaguars yeah, who were good who, who were good enough to get to the playoffs with Blake Bortles and you chalk that with up as Bortles. two wins yeah Maurice Jones Drew I mean I look I Jalen Ramsey color color go let's let's just for the sake of argument because I know you're a research type of guy and I know that you're <laughs> down with the mathematics right I just want you to do your research and come back to me. I'm and eating a cupcake for you, Ron. Okay, but but that Jacksonville team didn't just get to the playoffs and one and done. They but, went to no, the no, championship game. No. They went to the AFC Color. championship game. Color, that was one year. I'm talking about the last 20 years. How many times have level, we done it in the last level, 20 years? Level 2 Noob says the Not South. One. With the Peyton Then Manning why would you want to go to that division? Because Jacksonville has a, hasn't been great. I'm for just the past saying it doesn't years. matter, Von Joe. I'm just saying have, it doesn't no, matter. The we have to beat the Titans. We've been going for the Titans. It don't matter if we uh, play in China. We still have to beat the teams in front of us. Joe well, Joe says the the New England. Good morning, Patriots, everybody. The Patriots benefit, benefited from weak division for 20 years, and they were able to stay healthier than most teams and earn buys, so they were able to rest. Well, and that's we, fair. We, I we think were, that's but, fair. But, but but we were one of those weak teams that made we it. We were. Here. I'm not denying that. It, uh, we were. So what are we over. talking about here? Going because, to a weak division so, to get stomped on by other weak people? On because, average, so, hey, I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances with that color. So I so, want the best. Right I want the no, best. I want to play the best. I can care less about oh, anything oh, else. Oh, no, let's have this conversation. Let's play this out from from the standpoint of the Dolphins, right? The Dolphins. Steven, I got. I got to get back to it. Twice a year, played the Patriots, and uh, for twenty years, essentially, somebody needs to put their stuff on mute. I'm getting bad feedback from somebody. Okay, I think it was after life there. For twenty years, they had two losses guaranteed every year from the Patriots for twenty years. We granted we won some games in Miami. I'll give you that. Okay, but. On normal, we would lose two games a year to, to the Patriots. What? We would no, lose two games to the Patriots. And, and even when Buffalo was bad, we still lost games in Buffalo because of cold weather. Y'all know that. So there's your third loss, right? Well, even so, if a divisional game is bad, division three, games are always tough. We still right, have to if, go. If, we still have to play in northern climates in the playoffs. Okay, but, but but the fact is, is getting into the playoffs, right? The Would you rather not is, be used to it? You'd rather go into the playoffs blind. We weren't the there, color. We weren't there, so how? Like, like I get the. Uh, what, but that's what my point. We weren't I, there because we couldn't even beat the weak division that the Patriots could beat. What are you, are you talking about? You said Jacksonville? You, you no. You said that the Patriots benefited from a weak division. Well, there's two other teams that we should have also benefited from beating if we were in a weak division. We should have done what the Patriots did. We should have been one and two with the Patriots all these years. So, but we couldn't beat the weak division that they could beat. No, according to David, the AFC is the best of the best. So, I mean, and, and you got to pick a poison. Here. I didn't. I, I yep. didn't say that. Stop, stop it, Cap. I didn't say you that. You did say I, that. You said the best of the best. And, 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 no, and by the way, I want to play the team. By the way, hold on, guys. You think the Jets are better than us? 
One other oh, point. You think the Jets are better than One us. other point. One you other know, point. I don't think that. I want to play the best of the best to, to prove my point, though. One I want to play. Point. I'm not talking about the Jets. I'm talking there's about one, teams in general. There's, there's so, one other point to be made. What about going to the to the North? Well, you would be trading Tom Brady back then for Peyton Manning. Yeah, but you, Peyton Manning played in a dome. That's one. And number two. I think there was a, a, the, a, look. I, I'm I'm res- I respect Peyton. I respect Tony Dungy. I respect those Colts teams, but I still think there's a big difference of playing Tom Brady and Bill Belichick in New England in cold weather compared to Peyton Manning and Tony Dungy. But and, that's only and because Adone. we let them. We so, lost to them. I got something. That's right our here, fault. Though, squash it. I'm, I'm looking up the history. Of the and the AFC best of South. the best cat is in Buffalo. Go, go, go ahead, Roach. And I'm looking at the AFC South history. AFC East Buffalo. History, yeah, right? out of here, Buffalo. Just to make the wild card <laughs> out of the AFC South, you had to be a 10 win team. If you go to the East, and we would have, was... and we would have guaranteed oh, gotten two more wins every How year. How can you game? guarantee oh, that? Because, bro, finish, we would have. So then you go to the AFC East wild card, the average is nine wins. Right, so, so he's saying on average the South is a better division. Like, 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 like I see what Stephen is. Say- I, I mean, I see what Color is saying. Like, you can't, you can't say that, Stephen, because we were part of the weak division and we were the weak team. I mean, we were in a strong division and we were a weak team we in a strong division. In division. All those years. Teams. That's what I'm saying. Is- we were, we were part of the weak. <laughs> No. Yeah, if we would have, right, right, Stephen D, Stephen D, if we would have beat the other two weak teams in our division every year, that's four wins every year. Yeah, uh-huh. but uh, look, I think there's a big difference playing the Jets in the in Buffalo in cold weather. Like, like that, that, that we just sucked for years of playing in cold weather. Nobody's going to disagree with me with that. As we opposed, did to, playing, as opposed to playing Tennessee in the cold, rainy weather, like yeah, we did last Bro, like we did last year, bro. It's uh, it, like, oh yeah, that'll be. Difference. You know, if they do, right, I'll tell you. Y'all I'll think tell you, it I, don't get cold in Tennessee? I'm not saying it doesn't, but there's a <laughs> big difference color between Nashville, Tennessee, and Buffalo. No, New York, there's not. No, there's yes, not. There when is. it's cold, cold, cold is cold. cold. That's right. Cold there's no plow machines going through Tennessee. I grew there's up no plow Buffalo. machines whatsoever going through yes. Tennessee. And so, so wait, wait, wait. but wait, so, Roach. Hold on, Roach. I just want to come on real quick. Hold on, Roach. I just wanted to come on and just say thank you for depressing me. That hey, no matter if it was in the east, in the west, or the south, we just trash. All right, thank you. Basically, yeah. So <laughs> if we was in the and south, it's because we're still of trash. this yeah, mentality. Man. A lot, it's man. because got, of this mentality why we're trash. Hey. So you can't no matter where we go, so you recognize what's wrong with you. So. Hey, you, you, you are right. So I re, I retort my previous comment. Oh, so no now you're going. Are, going are you flip flopping, Bob Joe? You I'm flip flopping, home of the flip floppers, baby. Yeah. Bob Joe needs to be, Bob Joe needs to be yeah. a fan of Dallas or something. You know what? You know what? We need to go. To, we need to go to the West. <laughs> Listen, Stephen. I, I, you know how much like, history like, and like, bad blood there is. There, this shouldn't even be a conversation can of can switching can divisions. Can I like I, I, I admit that. Listen, Pete. I asked this and question no a month ago. We I was like, guys. And by the way, we used think? to lose to Buffalo in the playoffs oh. in Miami too. So let, the uh, cold I, had nothing to do oh, with it. So, so well, let's Sharif. Sharif. You're right. You're right, Sharif Lewis. Someone has background, but I was. I asked this question to Stephen D in the panel. Do we sweep? Remember, Stephen? Do we sweep Buffalo or we split? And why? No, everyone was EBDB, EBDDD. This is why. They're afraid. And you, and it's porous. I hate the sound of it. And they're trying to escape and parachute like some weenie clowns. To me, you fight the Buffalo Bills, you beat them. If you split, you split. But you have to go through Buffalo. Why Let's do go. you want to escape that? This is this is. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Sharif. You know, you know. You know how, hold on, Sharif. If Buffalo you know kicks our ass it. again two times, if Buffalo kicks our ass again two times, then that's what, Sharif? That, that that's pretty much. Now, Sharif, listen. Look, I don't care if we lose, but you heard Cap. Did you hear Cap? I knew the Dolphins. All this yippity yippity. We still have to go through Buffalo. No one wanted. Sharif, listen to me. No one wanted to say. Guess who's not? Guess who's not? Guess who's not having this debate right now in their fan base? Buffalo. Buffalo. Kansas City. Or Kansas City. Who's in arguably the best division in the league? 
got color look, and buffalo you, you, you i mean they just beat us and make us look easy they made get, it look easy with mitchell trubisky you don't hear the raiders trying to leave the west because kansas city's there i but I, they actually did leave oakland but they didn't leave their division <laughs> they, 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 they actually left twice and steven your other point where you said that the patriots owned us right we actually split almost every year except for from 11 to 13 is when they swept us those three seasons. That's it. Those are only three seasons they swept us. Okay. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Go ahead, Lewis. Go ahead, ahead, Lewis. Steven, are you flip-flopping? I'm not flip-flopping. I still have the mindset that that (laughs) – No, I'm just saying I cannot even believe we're having this conversation. You You know who I blame for all this? Tua. Two has made all y'all guys soft. That's y'all right. want – y'all trying to put him in better weather games. Lewis, you know I wanted to say that. Lewis, you know I wanted to say that, bro. Keep it going. I cannot – I cannot believe. Hey, man. Hey, let me let me get on camera because I, I don't even like showing my face. Lewis, 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 I'm so confused yeah, It hurts, right man. I'm so I, blame, I blame Flores. I blame Flores. That's why. Yeah, he didn't win in the – I blame Flores. Yes. Hey, let's run away. You know what? We should see if the Miami Dolphins can go to the USFL so we, we don't have to play ah! NFL team. Yeah. What are we talking about? I'm not sure we can beat Birmingham. <laughs> exactly. I'm not sure we can beat Birmingham. Birmingham won a championship. Let's, the Dolphins they they want to put us in a division with the Jags, the Texans, yeah. and, yeah. and the Jets. They want it hey, so easy. Hey, let me tell you something. He, he, I, I love you, Cowboys. Hey, and, uh, I love all you guys, win. and I just want you to know it, this comes from a place of love, all right? But all y'all are soft. Everybody <laughs> came up here and said that what's it called? All of y'all are soft. Yes, I sir. But y'all soft. But here's Come on, my Lewis. Question. You, you got you're it. You're going to say go to an easier division. Lewis, man. I just want to win, Lewis, man. The Jaguars, I just the win. Titans, <laughs> and the Colts. Why wouldn't you go for the Cowboys division? Damn <laughs> They right. got to the playoffs. NFC the East, worst there. division in the league for the last 10 years. I, so. I, I, I agree. We should be in the NFC. We can make it to the NFC East. We're more East than Dallas. Hey, do you guys think Greer, he was up last night on this Baker trade, or was he busy looking for a center? Hold on. I know I got, hurting, bro. I, know I mean, look, look at Steven smiling. Like, he's happy about that. Are we, look, did you guys see what Epps? Hey, go work out, Vaughn. I know. Be having dreams about Baker. Listen, Baker for a fifth, and they took half of the salary. Come on, y'all don't think that's worth it? Y'all don't think that's better than Teddy? Y'all don't really want that? No, Look at that. Don't care. Yeah, like, you no, know, I know you don't care, David, because you just want a little, you, you know? Is it time to <laughs> start? what? Go ahead, finish. You want the little tour, bro, with the broken hips, you know? You guys want you guys want a I told you moment. And I and I just feel like that's never gonna happen. Hey, y'all claim to support this panel this morning. And y'all, love you all claim to support Tua, but Color. not one of you timed out Lewis for but, that statement. <laughs> <laughs> do you want uh uh, Damn, I already got timed out. Oh no, I'm who's the dude from Sam Donald? Sam Donald is now on the list. I'm saying, Lewis, there's such two as supporters, but they not one of them f- saw fit to time you out for your last statement. I know, right? Hey, not co- one. Co- color, let me tell you something, Color. When I come out here and I get thrown out, it's a term of endearment, man. I'm doing something right if I get timed out. <laughs> well, That's the way I, I look, look at it. You know what, Lewis? I agree with you. I, I just I just want to state for the record. Like, danged if I do, danged if I don't. So I come up here today. I try to talk something that's not Tua, right? Because the conversation always goes back to that. And I try to have a whole other conversation about something that somebody posted online that I thought was interesting. And a lot of you are like, why are we talking about this? This no, We're not having this discussion. Nobody else is having this conversation. Because I don't want to talk about Tua for three hours. Well, which that's is how the-, the conversation always goes back to. That's why the quarterback hey. gets the hot girls, man. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hey, Listen, they want to. Hey, it, it could go up. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about Shakanja? Well, what's How the what's that undrafted running Baker. back? You know what? How what's that undrafted running back? Do I know? Because every time every time I try to talk about something else, I get yelled at for trying to talk about something Steven, else. You know what? Steven, y'all take I got your back, bro. This is show. This is I got show. your back, man. See, because what I'm like to I said, a time, to a time. What I want to do is studying. How is family coming to get me? Right. 
I'm not that I'm don't hurt me, Pam. Don't hurt me, Pam. Hold on, hold on guys. Now that you I'm know, studying, you know, I'm that. coming for you, Lewis. You know it. I know you are, Pam. I know. So, I'm gonna have it no other way, Pamela. So now that I'm studying the offense, right? And I look at and Kirk he didn't Moore. say the guys were soft. He said, "Yeah." Remember that. So now that I saw that. <laughs> not Pam. I'm not uh, talking about Pamela. I leave Pamela. Pamela is not soft. I'm trying to have fire. Ooh, Pamela, man. he added you. you. Know, Pete, you, know, Pete, you, know, you know, but anyways. Don't shit uh-huh. be a little scared, you know. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead with your uh-huh. comment. I'm sorry. No, nah, go ahead. No, I was just fun and, you know. Well, since nobody's talking, here's what I want. <laughs> I want Sam Darnold, Rosen in back in the backup, have a true first round QB competition. Thank you. I hope so. Okay. That's my I hope so is that, that, that comment? Is that like for the that. USFL? <laughs> that sounds I think like think the aliens USFL. came and spoke no, to Roach. That's if that's if they actually perform and we still stay with Tua. We got two quarterbacks we can market now and, and trade off that are first round picks. If they were so marketable, how come, you know, there's, Hold. I mean, come on. That sounds like USFL. No. Like, if you look at quarterbacks have moved all over the place and had better seasons on their second or third teams all the time. Yeah. So, Man, do you guys, the, the, the USFL like you literally the needs guys like now. Tua and Baker Mayfield to go over there to bring a market. Imagine how Birmingham does isn't trying to, like, isn't calling up Tua, like, get here. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, right. know, how oh. Do you realize That's how what, much money the USFL would bring in if Tua was was Bama's quarterback at a professional what? level? Dude, he'd be the best quarterback in the league there. What y'all are gonna eat them words? You're gonna be eat Birmingham those words. Tua. No, he I'm saying in a vacuum, Pamela. Birmingham like Tua. if you put aside all of that and just say, hey, a guy like Tua who was so beloved in Alabama mm-hmm. to be Birmingham's quarterback in a professional league. That would and, be money hand over fist, man. And me, and I'm not hating on Tua saying that he'd be the best in the league. It's true, he would be. He would be the well, best. Well, I mean, but that's that's like a duh moment, right? You know what I mean? Like, of course, but Tua's gonna make it at, in Miami. I hope, and so. then he's gonna be bringing in all the money. But I mean, you know, I if you want to talk it. just money, Jacksonville Jaguars should have. Um, well, Drafted Tim Tebow. They sorry, to inter- sorry to interrupt team. real quick, Pam. I just wanted to add something else. There's something else that Tua would bring to the USFL that actually is a credit to him, and that's legitimacy. Like he would overnight legitimize that league. Mm-hmm. That's why. Right. Well, that's why I the mean. USFL drafted Jim Kelly. And well, who was the other one? Herschel Walker went there. Is that right? Was Man, Tua won't survive in that league with those hits. Y'all stop doing that. You know, have you seen those games and those hits? Bro, the rules are different. They're not protecting the quarterback. I'm not going to get there with you. Make it sound like he has bird bones, Pete. He, he'll, he'll be a jersey seller, and he'll he'll bring some viewers until he starts to stink it up. The, the progr- it's, it's level two says the you go. The ball floats the same. The progressive doesn't have a commercial of Baker moving into the Panther Stadium. I'll be sad. <laughs> Like, look, they, they, like the Panthers, man, David Tepper, I keep telling you guys, look what he's doing. But since we drafted Tua, we, like, what, like, man, we're stuck. We're stuck. That's all I'm going to say because, you know what, I don't even want to say the things I'm – because there's going to be a lot of swear jars today. Hey. You guys oh, – No, I, go I, ahead, I got Pete. a message. I got a message. People laughing that Baker may feel ha, 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 whatever. Like, it's a joke. But at the end of the day – it's a fifth round pick. Who cares about that? And you're missing an opportunity on the project guy that was projected but, to be but, the so, same so, guy you so got. Pete, Pete, so I don't my, get it from no, these Pete, little no, Pete, haters, here's bro. My pushback. Here's my pushback to you, okay? Number one, I just state for the record, I don't agree with bringing make Baker in at all. I, I don't agree with your take. Now, from the standpoint of why <laughs> Not don't... Not for a the, fifth round hold, pick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me finish. Now, to argue your point, why wouldn't the Dolphins take a flyer on Baker for a fifth-round pick? Okay? I get your point. But understand what the Dolphins are trying to do. They are trying to build up confidence in their quarterback who has not had any. So what message are you sending by bringing in another quarterback to compete with him like that? Because the problem, Stephen, is I bought an Android phone once, and I was like, this is going to be the next thing. 
and I waited for all the updates to come. They came for a few years, but then after year three, they brought out a new Android phone, and my phone went to, sh- the went to goal, crack. The, the goal, so, the goal. You're just hoping it works out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, well, Look, I I think you're leaving. You know that he else, didn't though, no Stephen. I I think you're missing something. I because of the way. What is co- like? First of all, oh, the team doesn't have any confidence. They drafted that guy in the first round, fifth pick, even coming off of a hip injury. Stephen, they believed in this guy and they gave everything for this guy. They just didn't see it. In no coaches in this organization seen it. And he didn't prove it, and he didn't even prove Flores wrong because he just played the way he played. You know the one thing I would say? Two years later, even two years later into the NFL, you got the same fans still talking about his hip still is this place. And that Am I the only one that lost half of Pete's volume? Yeah, yeah, I we can barely hear you, Pete. You know. We can't hear you, Pete. Right. You know, you so know one of the things it, I would what say I to wanted Pete's to... comment, though? You know what I would say to, like, Pete, though, and, like, in Pete's defense, when you really look at it, because I was one of the detractors. I didn't want to bring Baker Mayfield to Miami neither. But when you look at the deal, what they did, what Carolina did, I mean, dude, Carolina's paying Baker less than what we're paying Teddy Bridgewater. So, I mean, when you look at it like that, he does have a point. Like, I would much rather pay Baker Mayfield the $5.5 million that Carolina's paying than Teddy $6 million. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that, I, I that, agree that's with like that point. I agree with that. I, d- I don't think that that would be a bad move. But, but they, one thing you were talking about, Stephen, about like, you know, uh, to his confidence and stuff like that. I I don't think that people give him enough credit from for being a competitor. I, I don't necessarily think somebody chomping at your heels is a bad thing for Tua. The, the talk of all the Watson stuff was completely different in my book. Having somebody on the on the team that can challenge him, I think that's not a bad idea. Two is a competitor. He he would step up and bring his A A plus plus game. Not that I don't think he's going to anyways, but I think it would make him better in a lot of ways. Hey good morning everybody Listen, man. We got to do better. better. We don't have a right tackle for Tua protect his blind side. Batman. What are we doing? We don't have a center to make the calls that Tua don't know how to make. How do and, you know and, that, Pete? How do no, you we know, know that? that? We know you know, that. We you know, know that. how we know that? Because he's not a leader and he's not doing it. Oh he didn't know God. the playbook and all this other stuff. I the plays hey, he were given, he only on, had please. one option. I don't please, ever want to hear on my on, channel. Bro. I don't ever want to hear in the chat. I don't want you to hear nothing. Steven, you, all you do on your channel is talk about Tua. I tried to talk about something else. I tried. It came back to Tua. I give up. I want to address. I want to address. Steven, you notice I'm quiet about it, right? I want to address all the beautiful people on the panel today. Have a blessed day. Happy Friday. Happy early Friday. Morning, Batman. Um, hey, Batman. I wanted to, Morning, I, Batman. Morning. I, I wanted to say, I wanted to say this. Uh, I wanted to address everyone with the, the topic of uh, Tua being a nice USFL quarterback for Alabama. How about, how about, um, how about Lamar Jackson? Wouldn't he be a great quarterback too for Alabama for that USFL team? Wouldn't he yeah. be a great one? They love the him in Alabama. Right? He's, he's, he's great. completely glazed he'd be over great, my right? point, Batman. He'd be, no, you he'd completely be glazed over my point. He'd be my great, point right? Was to say, my point was to say that, that that entire state will run through a brick wall for Tua. That it would be a it would be a large amount of money to be made to put him as the face of the USFL. That's all I was saying. You could do that with Lamar Jackson too. You can make him the yeah, face. Yeah, well, why? He's Lamar Jackson's yeah, he's a, a great, little busy he's, right he's, now. He's, he's, he's a great, a great quarterback. quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. But he's a great, he's a great quarterback, quarterback in the NFL. Batman. And Tua's a, he's great, a great quarterback too. Not okay, he's a great fine, quarterback. That too. wasn't what I was. That was that was completely besides what I was talking about. That was a backhanded uh, compliment. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, man. There you go. I guess I'm just an evil person then. <laughs> You're not. I didn't say that. <laughs> All I'm saying is color. You can't well, do that's, a backhanded that's totally compliment. Even even that. Batman, Batman, what you just did there was you, you, you just proved that you believe the worst in somebody you call a friend. Thanks a lot. I buddy. said Lamar Jackson would be a great quarterback for the Alabama Birmingham too. I, my yeah, and you also said that my compliment was backhanded. Thank you. I it appreciate was. How you are you going to say buddy. that about two? I appreciate you, you believing two? the best in your friend, buddy. Thanks. Listen, one thing is not like the game, but to, come in, to come out and say he would be a great quarterback for a USFL team, regardless of the 
where the state is at is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Well, then a, that's a, a fair. That's, I just opinion, want to say bro. you guys use that's that your phrase opinion. very loosely. It's not fair for you to assume very that loosely. I was being, that I was making a backhanded compliment. You're getting people riled up, color. Whether that okay, was your intention or doing, not, bro. Then I'll shut that was up, your bro. I will or shut not. up, bro. You'll never have to hear me again, bro. Don't worry. Bro. <laughs> but that's not his problem if people get offended or riled up. A lot of that's background noise, Fondre. A lot of background noise. Sorry, but hold on. That was completely wrong because color came from a marketing perspective, and me being in the world of marketing, I understood what color was saying. Did that color just drop off? Yeah, yeah, man. He's pissed. He's upset, and I agree that he should be pissed because again, he was coming from oh, a pure marketing perspective. No, hold on. From a pure marketing perspective, he is right. We saw Alabama fans come into the Dolphin fan base because of Tua, because he's from Alabama. So. Tell you the truth, if you would have put Tua on there, if you would have put Hurts on there, if you would have put Mac Jones, if you would have put Mac Jones on there, again, it will blow up because they're from the Alabama. They're from you the University of Alabama. You can't talk about, you can't talk about Tua. Hold on, so he, no, hold on, no, he was saying that about no, every no, he NFL quiet, player. He was saying, no, he was saying that He's from talking a about the marketing perspective. I understand. You guys are not listening. I agree with you, Von Joe. You're going to get, 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 get people riled up by that comment, though, regardless of the point. No, y'all need to stop being so butthurt about Tua. Get off it. Yeah, why, don't, why, don't you bring up his, why don't you bring up his brother? Bring up somebody else. Why do you have to bring up Tua? Okay, why? Why? He's not, the not in the NFL. You can bring up anybody in the world. It. No, get You can bring it. Michael Vick. You can but bring up anybody. None of them played for Alabama. None of them played for Alabama. You can bring up anybody that played for Alabama. Vince, I'm not sure. It. I tried to have a sports talk show. I need to stop it, but, man. I need to get off But that. this is a Dolphin channel with a quarterback from Alabama. That's why. Yeah, that's why it's convenient. Y'all need to get, it's yeah, convenient. No, no, no. Y'all need, need to get off that, man. That gets very convenient about this kid. What don't you get? From a pure marketing perspective, it will be genius. Color, get back up here, Color. Get back up here. Don't let... Color, uh, don't, don't take your ball when you guys are, When color. you guys are finished no, talking not. about Tua, wake me up, please. No, no, because... Yeah, I yeah, love yes, Color. Yes, oh, you got to be able to... You got to be able to... You no, got to no. be able to receive it. You can no, it. no, no. Color was not trying to receive a dish. He was just saying that from a marketing perspective. From a pure there, business perspective. If he went there... He wasn't like saying... He didn't, he didn't Kelly, comment... He didn't comment Jones. nothing about Tua's play. He didn't, didn't worry about Tua's play. I literally have to pull over just for that one. No, so he didn't worry me, about Tua's play. He didn't bring up his stats. He just said by pure marketing that Tua is a golden child of Alabama, Birmingham, whatever that team is, in, in Alabama. So he'll literally gravitate that whole fan base into that one team. That's all he was talking about. Literally. Yes, but. Okay, but so I, I understand it wrong. Me, all sudden, I understand no, no, it wrong. No, uh, no, all of a sudden, you guys are saying, oh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson went to Louisville. So if Louisville Mon, had a team. You, you hold on, no, get, let me Mon finish. Joe, you got to no, get let me finish. Point. Let me finish. You got to get finish. Because if Louisville, no, if Louisville went, had the team, you could say Lamar Jackson to go to Louisville. Okay, then that would make sense. That rebuttal would make sense. Uh, you could Batman, say, if, 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 Batman, you're gone for 10 minutes. If Atlanta had a team, okay, you could say Mike Vick. <laughs> well, hey, okay, what happened with Batman? Atlanta. You see, that's why I hate answering calls sometimes, Steven. I miss Yo. some of the stuff, man. Oh, you I'm it. sorry, Vaughn. Co color, color, no, color drop, color drop. No, the thing is, the thing is that conversation man. and going at color like that, no, nah, that was completely wrong. That was completely out of bounds. I just don't get he didn't why. Say nothing no. about, I, I don't know, man. Joe, he just no, misunderstood, I, bro. He just misunderstood. No, I don't think a lot of people. Bonjo, you notice I'm not saying anything, right? Because I understood what the comment was. Change the subject and get off this kid. Because for some reason, you said all your words. Let some. Well, then stop. Let you have a nice day. You have a nice day. I am done. You know what I'm doing. Text me when the subject changes. Because every time we get on this kid, everybody's missing ears fall off. So you, so you don't put me in that box, for bro. like I don't know how long on it, and nobody else got to to say anything, and um, you know, like we're all wrong because we don't think the way you do. That's ridiculous. I I, 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 I don't I I think so. I I, I, I don't want to I don't want to speak for anybody, <laughs> but here's what I'll say. My problem with the two conversation, okay, right now is we have had it fifty million times. There's literally on Okay, I got a question. 7th, on July 7th, nothing else to talk about with Tua except 
Let's wait and see what happens yeah. this year. I That's it. You, Steven, Steven, let me ask you, what do you see and the rest of the panel that is a problem to the team? Because I, 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 that, I have an answer. I, I can have – I, 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 if, if, but it, are you going to say Tua, Pete? No, my answer is not Tua. Absolutely not. I know what – like this is like what are you afraid of of the future happening? And I, I know think, like you I, get me? Well, I think my biggest question mark is the offensive line. I want to see the offensive line. Improve. Well, let me but, answer it, and but, maybe you'll understand also, what I'm trying to but ask. Because maybe I, I don't also, ask it right. I also say that I have high optimism. I, I, I'm very optimistic about the offensive line, too. Like, I, I, there's a lot of hope for me there as to what, you know, Matt Applebaum, Connor, I like the Connor Williams moving to center. I think that's a good thing, you know? So, it, it, can it, I... it, majority of his penalties were offsides. And so now we moved him to uh, to center. How many times is he going to get that penalty now? Not a lot. So now you just decreased his penalties by purely so Steven, moving him to center. I, I want to speak to that. That is not necessarily true, thing. though, because handling the oh. snap of the ball, and if you don't, you're not used to it, and you're fidgety with it, and you move it, you can still get a false start as a center. So I mean, I'm we're, just saying, we're just, Stephen. We're, we're just yeah, nitpicking right now. Right Everybody <laughs> just nitpicking right now. Let's talk about Superman or something. I mean, come on. Well, this is a hey, sports channel, so about, that's not happening. Hey, in Smallville, he played football. Let, hey, all right, all right, all right. Let Pamela go. Let Pamela go. Okay, so I'm sorry. I just wanted to address the Batman color thing. So color was making a comment that you know, was based on something that he says is just about money. So mm -hmm. that's fine. But to Batman's point, color is fairly critical of Tua. So when you when you say something like that, you have to realize that maybe, you know, because that is your history, then the wow. comment is looked upon as being a little backhanded. But either way, you know, so color just says, okay, no, I was for real saying a comment. And then Batman can just say, okay. And then nobody has to get mad and, and get off. Y'all are friends. Be friends. Yeah, and I think the weird thing is, is people, you, you can't be worried when you say something. Like, we're talking about sports. It's not anything that's, that's considered, like, PC related, right? So when you're talking yeah. sports, I am too sure I put something in the chat for you, but you can't hold yourself back. And be like, man, how are they? How are they going to take this? Are they going to blow up on me for this? Like, it shouldn't be that way. Like, people, if you get offended over what somebody says on this panel about the Miami Dolphins, then you need to look at yourself and be like, why is I letting? Well, that uh, well, me? Pamela, uh, Pamela, let me let me just give you a little pushback, Pam. So I, I'll say. Lance McDonald says Alabama fans need to pop two of mouth off their titty. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, Lance. Okay, all right. <laughs> Good that is that is funny. All right, here's my pushback to you, Pam. Okay. I think that color gets a bad rap because he's very passionate about what he says. So sometimes it might come off a certain way, but that's not how he perceives it to be, and he can't help I other people. I don't he think. Hold Badly on, in color. And he can't help other people's perception and how they think of him. He that's how he talks. He talks with a lot of passion, right? I so, under I understand and, that. And, and, and and I want to state for the record, I don't agree with everything color says, but that but my I, I do I don't think that, that his comment was I think he was merely making an observation. And that was it. I agree. I and, agree and so, with you. And then and then from Batman's standpoint, I I don't know if Batman and color have a history or not have a history with each <laughs> not, other. Not that but, I know of. But but what I would say to that is is when it when it comes to this, like guys, like it's all love here. You guys should know that. And yeah, know, forget I, that. Like Roach yeah. said, man, just keep it moving. It, it was a sports people. debate, yeah. and somebody yeah. took it serious. I wasn't yeah. here; I didn't see it. Man, but what's up? The color good, what? man. They're good. Man. Yeah, this is y'all making it a big now, deal, now, man. Now, I, I yeah, do want to go back and say, good. I do, I do want to say from the perspective of, um, like let me, let me, let me say this. Let's let, let, can, can hit the reset button, please. 
Well, hold on. So, so Wubak <laughs> said, are you still talking about Tula? Really, Stephen D? You need some new topics no. on the show. I tried to have Tua. new topics today, and it it's still not about came Tua. back to Tua. Well, you had Baker yeah. Mayfield on the list, so that's but it was, kind of but he gonna, got traded. It was a relevant conversation. That's automatically going to bring to a conversation. But it was like, a yeah, relevant right there, conversation. Right there, I don't agree with that comment anyway. Like what comment? we are going to talk that comment where I, Wubak, I blame it on Lewis. Oh, Lewis the one to bring up Tua. It, 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 what did Wubak but, say? But, that Tua in here. You know why? You but you know why, David? This is the point right here. Court, the two, quarterback in the NFL is the most polarizing position. It's just not Tua. Yep. I'm sure in Buffalo they talk about Josh Allen. I'm sure in Kansas City they talk about Patrick Mahomes. So why can't I talk about Tua, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent? I don't have He's a the problem. I don't, I, so, because so, we've worn it out. That's why. Because it's we've but, but worn no it out it until up, there's Pam, something else. Pam, yeah, there's a difference. Uh, there's a difference to bring it up to EM, EM, I've, EM, I've been on record to say that I think that you are passionate. I do think that you do cause trouble sometimes. <laughs> Look at EM. Up, but but I also but I but I but no. EM called me out and said, "Really?" He said. When color gets loud, it's called passion. But when I turn up, EM calls them problems. Really, dude? EM, you know that's not the I, – I, I think you're trolling a little bit there in your comment. Yeah, he's you know, trolling. He's trolling. That's but, why he's laughing. But I promise you I've been on record to say EM literally is passionate about what he says. And color does – I can't say color doesn't cuss because color cusses too in his stuff. Stop cussing. There's a swear jar. It's real. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you Go missed ahead, like guys. three swear jars already, bro. I know. I know. I'm trying to keep up with it. Pay I, your just, swear jars, I just people. think I just think you got to be a little less. Yeah, sensitive color doesn't insult people when it comes to talking about our team because we do all kind of take it personally. Just be a little less sensitive about it, especially when it's someone that's your friend. I don't, I don't, think it's sensitivity, though. I, don't think I, it's I don't take nothing personal because Tua, Tua or the Miami Dolphins or none of you all pay my rent. So it's not personal. Man, listen to it. There you go, oh, baby. really? And and it's not likely to happen either. <laughs> they better start paying some of our rents with these performances. <laughs> well, Pete, you got a point there. You got a point you know? there. Y'all hey, y'all South Beach are paying their rent for that stadium. Oh wow. Oh, All, what right. Was that? All right. Pete's gone. David's gone. Lewis is gone. And Irving's gone. Damn, how'd I survive? Swear wow. to her. I'm wondering how I survive. Daddy, I, I disagree with that being a swear word. I don't care. Off. I don't care. It's my show. Like, it's a swear jar. I will never pay for the D, the D word. <laughs> See, but now you're playing into it. You can't. You have to. It's part of the rules. I never sign a contract. You, did. you don't You don't have to pay for dang. It's legally hey, binding. <laughs> hey, did you tell them what you're doing next Thursday? I did not. Go ahead and promote it, my friend. So next Thursday, Steven's coming on the I Believe podcast, my show. We're going to talk about the Men in Black, the movies, yes. and do they, are they real? Are the Men in Black real? So, yeah. So, uh, I, so I, I am actually. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, and we'll get back to the conversation here uh, momentarily. Um, I have a new channel um, that is. Uh, I have a, I have a new job with a movie theater company called Horizon Cinemas. Horizon Cinemas, and Horizon Cinemas go to their YouTube. Uh, they only have like eight subscribers. We need to build them up. Uh, or, oh, Pam, you're gone too. I'm yeah. sorry, Pam. You're Thanks. you're gone now. Man, and somebody <laughs> um, blew up a body. But, so hold yeah. up. Let me finish. So basically, uh, I'm going to be doing movie reviews, talking about movies. Doing I do a I'm doing a live show tonight at 6 p.m. on their channel, live from one of the theater locations for the Thor premiere. Um, we're going to give out all sorts of stuff. It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go on Roach's channel next Thursday. To talk about alien movies, uh, and we're going to talk about Men in Black and how that's kind of, so I'm excited. What's the logo look like for the channel? Because there's like a bunch of Horizon Studio YouTube channels. Horizon Cinemas. Horizon Cinemas. Cinemas. Yes. Yes. So guys, go like the thing. Yeah, and go somebody like in thing. chat with that's a mod, put the yeah. link in the chat. All right, let me bring in uh, Color back in here. Color didn't get kicked off. What's up, Color? Not much. Can I ask a simple question? You why is it, why, whatever you why is it considered like. me getting emotional when Batman literally took my compliment compliment as a backhanded compliment? Was it not that the first emotional response? It it was to believe but, the worst in a friend. 
to believe the worst in somebody you call a friend. You don't think that's Boy. emotional? All right, all right. Bat Batman is back. All right, Batman. I'll let you two guys do not yell at each other, but go ahead. This is between you guys. Go ahead. No, I wanna I wanna apologize to color because I I misunder I misheard what he said, and it just I didn't I didn't see the compliment issue. I just felt like he picked to a that what I heard in my opinion. Talk to was each other. You two talk to he, each other. I I, I for color. I felt like you picked Tua out of our quarterbacks, and and just to make a point, just to start what? you know a topic of of laughter. And Who that's why I said what I said. Batman. No, we nobody about else. Our quarterback. No, I haven't heard anything up to that point. I literally tuned in, and the first thing I hear was you talking about Tua should play for the USFL, and that to me was ridiculous. But that's ridiculous. So that is nothing close to what I said. Right. I I, 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 I rewinded said. it a little bit while I was backstage, and I, I heard the whole thing. And that's you know, but you, see, my it, point, it's Batman, my fault. That's what I'm saying. And I, and, 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 and I accept fault. your apology, and I appreciate it. And I apologize if I say things that people take the wrong way. I get it. But you should I'm, not color. You but, shouldn't have to apologize. But, but for that. the but the real but the no, real shouldn't. issue. You shouldn't. You so the real issue that I'm trying to point out is this idea that I'm the one that got in my feels. <laughs> I no I, no. I no, don't, not at all. I don't you misheard that. something and 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 then proceeded to tell your friend that you believe the worst in his statement. That's getting yeah. emotional. Yeah, lately, the last three days, I, I just been getting ticked off, so that's my fault. And that's fine, but what I'm saying to the chat is that's the instance of emotion. Yeah, I don't even think not, he's talking not, to you anymore me. at this point, Batman. I think he's talking to the chat at this point. My no, reaction to his emotion I, I, is emotional, I, I, yes. I do want to leave because I know I'm gonna blow off a casket on EM because he brings foolishness all the time. So yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm coming for you, Batman. You already let, know what time it is. Go, I'm EM. coming for you, Batman. I don't want. I, I listen. Let, I want hey, EM to. I want EM to have listen. a good weekend. I want to have a good birthday weekend. So I don't want to. No, 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 sir. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. About, look, not, before please, EM starts, I do want to say Batman and Color. Thank you. That's how you guys. Yeah, that's absolutely. how you guys. No, man, Color's my boy. That's, that's not. That's not even a friend. That's my boy, man. That's why we'll continue to be friends. Because Batman, the thing of it is, bro, that I want you to know, and 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 I've said it a dozen times, and it probably blows over people's heads because you know of all the rhetoric. I get it, but trust me, if I didn't care about this man, I would not spend one calorie on him. I get you. No, and I know that color. You I wouldn't even hear me say the man's name if I didn't care about him. <laughs> all right, Em. Now you. Let's go, Em. Batman, you already know what time it is. You know what you know where I'm coming from. Batman has been on an emotional he been a roller coaster for the past two months because you know he started when he's uh, actually on this platform when he got in his feelings about a comment. There we remember, go. Remember the topic there at that particular go. time was about Tua playing golf on game day, agree, right? But we don't so, have to pile on Batman either, man. You we don't have to. No, pile no, no. I'm not piling on him. I'm, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna let go of that comment. <laughs> I don't have nothing to do with what, what transpired between color and Batman. I got I'm, you, not, I'm not getting I got in the middle you, of it. I, I, I got you. I just had to say that so that we clear the air on that. I think yeah, right. I, look at this point, everybody's friendly here. We're all this is a joke, joke, haha. But EM, yeah, EM, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, we know, EM. we know, we know. EM always brings foolishness. We can't take but his I, word serious. But I think yeah. Batman, he needs to seek some help because he is on it, bro. He has been on an emotional roller coaster for quite some time now. You need to, yeah, bro. You need to get some vacation time. <laughs> I'm in before the season starts because you have been out of character. You know, the other day in a Twitter space, same emotional roller coaster, bro. You need I to go sit down to and do talk with that. To that was not me. That was my co-host. That has nothing to do with me. No, no, that was you too. That was you too. EM yeah, with you as well, in advance. Oh, wow. Let's go. Uh, is, uh, by the way, uh, you, you still owe a dollar, Roach. You still owe a dollar. You, you owe a dollar. But, I, but, uh, but to be honest with you, Stephen D, the reason why I'm, you, you know, you know my approach to these platforms, I'm always listening. You, 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 so you anytime are? I hear foolishness, I have to address foolish. I have to address it. Correct. You do. So I'm hurt. You sitting up here defending nah, color. Nah, color nah, is emotional. Nah. I'm not emotional. I'm sorry. He's passionate. He's, He's passionate. passionate. He, he has this great, great, great passion about this team. <laughs> he does. <laughs> But when I turn up, right, when I am, <laughs> EM, you know, now you know goodness well, EM. it's EM causing problems, bro. EM, so EM, I, I'm trying EM. to figure out First here. First of all, I have been on record 
Hey, you I have never heard you say that publicly. Never. I have said it. I got people. Just so we're clear, show. EM. I just so we're clear, it. EM. Just because I benefit from it, don't mean I'm perpetrating it. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will. also say, EM, right, yeah. that you know goodness well what you have done in the past too. You have provoked uh, and incited yeah. riots uh, on people's man. In the past. EM riled <laughs> people bro. up so no, much they dropped their ass. Addresses, they want <laughs> plane tickets. Uh, EM, EM, you're a king. You're, you're a yeah, king oh, over oh here. My God. But no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm, tro I'm trolling for the most part. I'm trolling Batman. Batman. I'm trolling the shit out of Batman right now, too. Right, but, uh, swear, John. But no, you're not wrong. Yeah, he has bro. been on an emotional roller coaster oh, wait, lately. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five dollar credit. So there's one. <laughs> four more. Yeah. Four yeah. more yeah. No, In fairness, Pete, I think I think, you I think you've joined on that roller coaster the past couple of days, man. <laughs> Who is that? What, what's yeah, that Pete, called? I think, Pete, 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 I think yeah. Pete's riding on that coaster. Just so you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 11-11. Oh, yeah, sure. Pamela, you come back in three minutes. And Pete. Oh, wait. Wow, Pete, you weren't even supposed to come back yet. Hey, I I'm will sorry. say this. I I'm will sorry. say this. Pete wasn't I, supposed I, to come back. My bad. Hey, don't you think it's funny that Pete was out here pushing Baker Mayfield like he was his agent? For the past Pete, three months, and now and now Pete is talking about <laughs> Sam Darnold, and now he's talking about oh, now he's bro. talking about Garoppolo. Like really? Yo, Batman, <laughs> Batman, Garoppolo. Pete? He might be fair on, but when he started that Sam Darnold last, I'll give you, like, oh, Pete, dude, bro, Pete, you're you out for an additional Pete, two minutes. Pete I'm, is definitely on something else, bro. I'm he is on something the, else. I don't know what that the, is. No, I'm Pete standing at the edge of the cliff, and I'm watching Pete flying down to the bottom, yelling, <laughs> "Sam Darnold." <laughs> Right, I'm so, like, no, nah, bro. I can't jump with you, bro. Eleven, eleven, oh three to to uh, uh David, Luis, and Irving. So you get one minute, and then I'm adding additional two minutes to Pete because I let him back too soon. My bad, Pete. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey Steven. Hey, don't yes. think I didn't see that five dollar credit that the homie put in for me. I'll shake money. I, you, so I got you five dollars used, on the book. No, you you got four dollars now because you already no. used one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm counting, son. All right, I'm counting. all right, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all go back to doing what you're doing. Salute to everybody, man. I hope everybody have a good weekend, man. We'll chop it up brother. next week. You All right, man. Be good. Be good. See, this is this is what I, you know, I, 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 I seriously, I'm glad that you guys kind of had a little bit of a incident and then a, able to squash it within minutes of each other because I feel like. I feel like at the end of the day, people do this all the time, especially when it comes to Tua. Right. You guys both agree. You guys both have shows. You both have channels. You know, goodness well that that's what happens. Right. Color. Right. Batman. Absolutely. Sorry, I got a phone call all the time. Man. All the time, and I'm always willing to show people and, and, what it looks like to be an adult. And, well, it's not even that, bro. It, it it's it comes from the standpoint of I do. I will say this: like people have been getting on me, like Stephen. You, we we can't talk about Tua every day. I tried to change the conversation. Well, I Stephen, had a whole this is the show thing, about it. This is the thing. Still, it's it's not possible, Stephen. It's, it's not, not possible it's not, not to not talk about Tua. In and fairness, I understand the frustration in fairness, because Batman, in fairness, Batman, we do get baited into it a lot where it's like, incidentally, we're talking about this. Then yeah. all of a sudden it's like, and we Batman. didn't even really start the conversation. You know what I mean? That's fair. And and, and I get it. And the thing about it is like, can't hear you, Rose. you know, if, if you want to say you, you could, why don't we, we could, we could, you could bring up a specific topic. And the thing is that Steven, you know, and it's hard for a host, especially when you're thinking about what you're going to talk about on the beginning of the day or the night before, you know, all it takes is one person to say, oh, but two of this, two of could do that, two of could do that, two of could do this, two of can't do that. And then that's it. You're opened up Pandora's box. Same thing with Flora's conversation. Same thing with the Flora's conversation. Yep. All y'all are emotional and stuff. Stop it. That's true. Man, and, yeah, it, it, it is true. <laughs> it, 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 you know what? I don't really agree with David a lot, but Jay, David makes a great point. It is true. You know why? Because two, two is the connection to the whole team. Because, like, to Batman's point, if he brings up a wide receiver, we're going to bring up Tua because Tua is the one that throws the ball to that wide receiver. If what, he what? brings up the offensive line, it's because, A, Tua's either can't read or it all falls on. It's, Tua's our quarterback. If we can't, and it's not only Tua, we should be able to talk to, about all our Dolphin players. But at the same time, Tua is the main focus because it's the most independent position of our football team. 
And if people are in their feelings and people can't understand that, then that's a you problem. So stop blaming Steven. Stop blaming Batman. Stop blaming color for the conversation. Or Ali. Who is our quarterback and we're going to – Or Ali I agree. or anybody. So the point is we're going to talk about two of you. Don't like it, don't fucking be here. And, well, and maybe I shouldn't be here because I came to change the subject. That's the only people, the only people that aren't talking about their quarterback, are the Super Bowl champions oh, and the Super Bowl runner-up. You're gone, Lewis, for ten minutes. Andrea said, "Oh my God, shut up, Lewis." Hey, uh, maybe I shouldn't exactly. be here because I'm, I, listen, I came I'm to a tour change supporter. the subject. I'm Why a don't tour we talk supporter. about the elephant in the room with the Askins on the trade block? Huh, and there's Tyler? some, and there's some fan bases. That even when their quarterback was a Super Bowl runner up, they still were talking about him. All without right, respect, right. though, without respect, Ali, uh, Color did text me this morning about the Gaskins uh, trade that I mentioned yesterday. Yeah, but I, 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 I only, I only sent you that because me. I wanted you to, I wanted you to know I wasn't just saying that stuff in a vacuum. Like people really were talking about it. You it's know funny I mean? because I went back this morning, and it's it's crazy how things work out because. I went back this morning and I caught up. Uh, I, I I was hoping you guys did an episode last night. I didn't see you guys did an episode, so I saw I saw Reason show and Reason's talking about the same thing. He's talking about Gaskins as well. My whole problem is that for a guy that produced forty two points for our team last year, how to be talking about him as the default when the only thing that you when you compare his record to Ch Chase Edmonds, the only difference is Chase got a few more yards. And his yards per carry is better. I, I want to say this. I said this Listen, earlier. To uh, those that don't want to hear. Hold on, Pete. Hold on, Pete. I want to say this. I said this earlier. Forget about all this nonsense. We need to talk about Batman and his birth birthday bash. Everybody needs to show up at his birthday bash and have right a good time. Bottom line. That would be awful, man. I wish you guys could show up, man. That would be cool. You think I'm, I'm going to hang out with a man. bunch of two and ears, bro? <laughs> Nobody's going to a two and ear parade. And to my point, <laughs> hey, happy, birthday. Like, hey, happy birthday, Batman. I wish I do get an opportunity to go. I, I did want to add one more thing to what I was saying. The, the, the yards per carry and the more yards difference between Gaskin and Edmonds could be chalked up to what you all keep saying. Edmonds was running behind San Fran's offensive line. Gaskin was running behind our offensive line. So the um, yards per Edmonds carry was... and the total yards – Edmonds that, was from Arizona. He's Arizona's I'm sorry, offensive I'm line. Sorry, Arizona. My point is, if everybody's talking about our offensive line being the worst historically, then we can't use the yards per carry and the total yards difference as a fair comparison. We need to look at production points. That's what wins games. Gaskin had seven touchdowns last year. How many did Chase have? Look it up yourself. And color. My only concern with with Gaskins, if you listen to all my takes and you go back, was his speed. He's not very fast enough, right. and, and, and he and actually showed a drill that he's working on his speed. Again, I don't know how much again, faster he got, but again, I'm just saying. Again, Roach again, I'm not saying dog, Gaskin is better. I'm just simply saying that that. Yeah, you just can't is, write him off. I agree with default, that. Why is he the default odd man out? Is what I'm saying. I agree. I agree with that. That's why I told yeah, people yeah, when I they got in the, under their skin when I said there's a possibility week one, he is actually the starter. There, there's a chance, and, and think, nobody I actually because, believes that. I think he's the odd man out because he's, they're going to trade him to get to get what they want. No, actually, when, yeah. I, actually, that's, that's when we're looking at this running back, this is what I mean, not a starter because I don't think anybody's going to be a number one guy and hold it down. I think he's going to get the majority of the of the snaps, and he's going to get all the points. That's that's what I see. David, happening David, with actually Gaskin. Made the only, David made the only fair point to my argument was that yeah, contractually and all that, he may be the more fit to be traded to somebody for value. But, I get that. But part. here's the here's the other point of it, color is that you said it yourself. Chase and Gaskins are very similar quarterbacks, so therefore, if Chase is not Chase, but Gaskins, let's say, is, you know, more valuable to people. Of course, he's going to be used as the trade sure. trade piece. Now, I did, see, I did see I uh, did see SI's uh, Dolphin reporter. Uh, it's, uh, it's Poupard, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Back in June, he had written a nice article about, um, you know, how our how our running back room should shape up. And they may actually uh, leverage Gaskin to be able to protect uh, Mostert. Like in other uh -huh. words, you know, Gaskin might be the guy in while Mostert is is protected on the pup list. You know what I mean? So, and that's and that's the thing I'm saying. If 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 
you can make the argument that, that if 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 Gaskin is still on the team, he would be the starter day one. Um, him and Edmonds will battle it out. But if Morster is 100% healthy, there's no denying he is the number one running back. Yeah, what but that, that's what I was going to that, – that's why I had to retract my statement, though, Batman, because there is going to be no number one running back. All of these running backs, they're going to be put in roles, situational yeah, it's roles. It's, it's yeah, 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 Gaskin, right, right. Gaskin right. and Edmund is probably going to be our third down yeah. back. And, and, and you know, I, they're going to compete for those snaps. Two teams. Guys, again, I think all the two, two teams will have that. Well, I'll say it one, I'll say it again this way because I actually agree with Trucker Sean. I, I think that if you're, there's a competition, I think Edmonds is a better running back and will beat him out in training camp. My only point was that everybody puts his name out there like like he's some black sheep or something. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the guy scored seven touchdowns last year. <laughs> hey, but 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 moving on to the question that I had earlier, um, this is the this is the answer that I had because people oh let's not talk about Tua let's not like it all comes look Tua is also dividing the fan base whether you guys want to believe it or not was, okay it started, but it, listen it, to me listen to me it's year one of a new coach we it's still year one we're good it's still it's not year one for Tua it, if you want to believe that if that makes you feel good okay oh, year one for oh, Tua. Oh, they're sabotaging Tua right now. It's still the same sabotage issues with Flores. Batman, you guys were saying no right tackle, no center. They're still going on with the new coach. So are, are they sabotaging him now? That's the, the him, issue. Him, yeah, come on. But listen, let, right. let me fit. Batman, please. You, you get me. Oh, oh my God. You get me boiling. <laughs> but, listen, <laughs> but listen, this is the awful. issue I have with this team. And this is why it comes You're down. Awful, and it always comes down to Tua. Look, we ended up getting a new coach for Tua, but you guys don't want to talk about Tua, but hear me out. If we don't make the playoffs, we got guys on their last year of their contract that are going to leave because they don't believe in this. They don't believe in Tua. We might lose guys like Christian Wilkins. If we don't make the playoffs, Christian Wilkins is not signing with us. We're not going to keep Mike Gesicki. That guy's going to um, go elsewhere. Actually, uh, we're going to lose some of our best choice. players. Listen, and it's going to happen all over again. We're going to lose some of our best yeah, we, players we, in we their contract year years. We do have a fifth-year option for Wilkins. Yeah, Christian Wilkins, they've already used the fifth-year option. He ain't so, going anywhere. Just so I you mean, know. Th what if that guy requests a trade? This is a guy in his prime. And, and Christian Wilkins was drafted at 25 years old. That means by the time of his contract, he's 30. He doesn't have many more opportunities like some Pete, of these we're not, other we're not tanking, rookies. Pete. We're not tanking. We're not tanking, Pete. If that's what you want to say, yeah. we're not tanking. It, well, it's it's trending. You guys know it's trending that way, and you know it. And it's all because of Tua no, and his performance. If Tua does not it? step his game up. Can I this try is to issue. provide some perspective for what Pete's saying about the tanking thing? I you know you guys try, are real You can try, but... And, and, and this is a guess on my part. I'm not, you know, I haven't <laughs> talked to Pete about this. I'm not trying to speak for him. What I get when he says that is sort of like uh, in baseball, how you have the you used to have the unintentional intentional walk, and I think that's what Pete's talking about. Like we may not want to be tanking, mm -hmm. but it may happen. Like it, that's what's gonna end up know? happening. I'm not saying that they they that's what they want, but that's what's gonna happen. And all of our guys, what do you think they're gonna look back and say? Oh my god. This team has really is this blind. They've been trying all these years to do it with this, and it's not working. I can't trust this regime. I want to go to a proven winner. And that's what our best so guys Pete, are going to so, do. So Pete, Xavier go, go, Howard go, 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 has been trying to do it go, for go, years. Go Jacksonville. Go ahead. We'll see you. How? I, I, I don't. Uh, why does it have to go to that level right <laughs> there? Yeah, that, I'm you know, confused. No, I don't. Though, like, how, David, how are you gonna say David, David, thinking, David. Just, David. So know, just so you all know, that's what causes the shout fest is statements like that. I know. I know. Exactly. I'm just joking. Pete knows I'm joking. I'm just so playing. Let's talk my about thing solutions is, uh, how here. Are you Color, Color mentioned Even yesterday that Minnesota Ali, but, has Hold on. I, we invested so much on this team, like in the offseason – so much on every level of this team for us to even consider the word tanking. Am I wrong for that? Am I wrong for thinking? No, like no. That? I get, I get why you see why you see it as outrageous talk. I think what Pete is just saying is like, like I'm saying about the walk in baseball. It's like, you know, it could happen whether we want it to or not, and the organization will end up riding with it if that's what happens. Is what he's saying. 
What I'm saying is this team is going to try to sink or swim with Tua, and I have no faith that that guy's going to get it done. Basically, yeah, that's pretty much. No matter what they put around that guy, okay, we you guys that, act. So you guys act. Subject. You guys act like these other right guys around the league so aren't really time. good. One at a time. One at a time. Whenever you say Jacoby Brissett, yeah. Whenever you say Jacoby Brissett or Baker Mayfield, that man, we know you're 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 playing around. We know that. But Baker Mayfield is literally better than Tua. I don't, I, don't even even game. Game. I don't even think in a video game he is. I don't even he think is in a video. objectively better than Tua. I think I'll, I'll honestly, tell you what, Batman, making commercials, Batman, making commercials, Batman, maybe. Batman, 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 that's good. That's fine. Maybe. One thing I'll tell you when Tua is done in Miami, he's not getting another opportunity. I'm telling you right now. When okay, he's done in Miami, <laughs> he's not going to get another opportunity. Subject. He's not going to get a Brissette route. Brissett still getting opportunities. Look, you got Baker still getting more opportunities. When Tua is done, I don't think teams are going to give this guy an opportunity. That's like nice. you guys, that's nice. Let's change, change the subject because, 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 because you know what? Everybody knows that Tua sucks. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Even though I'm a Tua guy, he sucks. Okay. We yeah, everybody yeah, knows. Okay. So that's you fine. said it. Clip it, everybody. David yep. said it. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, so, Uh-oh, David. So that, you got to say your playing around, David. All right, huh? let's talk about it. I said, even though everybody knows I'm a Tua guy, let's just say he sucks for a second argument. Let's wait to the season. Let's talk about something else. So Minnesota has four centers. How much did that fish weigh that us. you caught right there? You want to talk about something else? How, mu- how many pounds was that fish? And was <laughs> it even pounds. legal to catch it? I'm trying, David. I'm trying. <laughs> I know. You got a little fish pounds, license Pete. to catch no, that fish? No. Seven now, pounds, I, Pete. I wholly disagree with Pete. What fish are we Pete. talking about? What fish I are wholly we disagree about? with Pete that Tua would not have another opportunity in the league. There are three on, quarters Tyler. of the teams let's, in let's, the, let's change the subject, please. There are three quarters I'll change of the, the subject, please. There are three quarters of the teams in this league that would jump for two. Yeah, Carolina, Carolina, Carolina being one of them. Carolina whether, would do it right now. Whether we think that's a right move or not, that's how stupid three quarters of the teams Somebody in this named league are. Marino's goat wants me out. And that he's watched Mar- Dan Marino all now, his life. A and he that wants a, a two and team he team wants man. a two a hater. Off of this panel, I'll admit to and that you one. think you're a two in here, bro. You saw Marino all your life, and you're proud of this game. Come on, bro. What do you see, buddy? Come up here, come up on the panel. Because look, up, if there's Stevie no room, D. I'll be happy to jump off. Sam Darnold is gonna get another chance. Hold on, hold on. Sam Darnold is gonna get another chance. I want to let Tua I, Wooden is just not I wanna right. let I want to let Mr. Polko then Ali. So, Mr. Polko, Mr. Park, then Ali. Mr. Park is the real deal. And come on, Mr. Park, enlighten us. No, I, I just want to say hello to Stephen D, Batman, up, Cola, David, oh. Ali. What's up, man? See what this is. Yo, oh, yo. Pamela, Pete, and sit down here. David. David. No, yeah. no, next to Pete. Uh, What's up, Mr. Park? How's your day, buddy? Am I ruining you. it a little bit? Fundraiser. Uh, hey, hey, Pete. I always, always, always say, man. You, when when you come on the scene, you massage our brains. You make us think. So Is it okay for me to be stuff. upset that we're about to lose Christian Wilkins? We're gonna lose Mike Gasicki. This 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 thing is gonna get torn apart the moment this is not working no, that's out. That's why you have anxiety no, that you because you believe in the bro. future. You don't look at right now. Wait a second. Let's talk about something different. Well, let's okay, talk let's talk about. about oh, okay. Well, remember this, this, Mr. Park. I'm gonna let you finish. I'm sorry, man. You're such a. Go ahead. No, I, I just wanted. Uh, <laughs> and let Ali, Ali go after this. He's Ali such a great this. guy. No, in fact, that's why I want to go. All of you Ali, guys. Ali was saying something about Minnesota having some sin. All right, Ali, go Ali, ahead. Can Ali. you speak on that? Bro? All right, so yeah, I'm changing the subject. Thank I don't you, even Ali. want to touch Tua at this point. I have a headache. Wait, um, hold on, but, but Mr. Park just asked a question. Mr. Park just yes, asked a question. that's my, part he of what said, I was bringing up. Question. Let yeah, Ali yeah go. I was bringing it up, so that's what he's referring okay, okay. to. So Minnesota has four centers, according to color yesterday. They have four centers, and we could very well trade for someone there. I know Atlanta has a couple centers, and so does the Saints. Why don't we make a move, or are we because, waiting to because camp, I, I, till camp I, to see what we got? I, I think we're I, so two things. Uh, this is my view on it. Okay, um, I, I truly believe that the Miami Dolphins like Connor Williams at the center position. I do. I think they. I think they do, and I think that they they are going to go into the season okay with them being at center. Now, with that being said, let's say the experimentation does not work out. For Connor Williams at center during training camp, inter squad practices, preseason. 
A, J.C. Treader is still there, right? He's still out there. And we have $16-plus million in cap room to go get him. Okay. B, B, you never know who's going to get released come the end of training camp or during training camp, right? So mm-hmm. there's going to there's gonna be cuts. And then I believe after that, I believe at that point before week one, if there is a center that is out there, then I could see a world where maybe we trade a, lot, a late round pick for him. I do believe mm-hmm. that's something that could happen. You guys got to come think, to. I don't think I don't think that's going to happen now. I think they're going to allow Connor Williams to play this out. And I want to say I know people. Some people are like, no way, Stephen. I promise you all and everything. What was Connor Williams' biggest weakness when we when we draft when we traded for him penalties. Uh, a few months back? Penalties. And how does something like that go down? You may you're not going to master by playing you. center. You're not going to master. I, yes, they, yes, you will. Yes, no, you, you won't. Will. No, you yes, won't. You will. You do realize I, I don't that the think center that is the most the case, important. But position. I do kind of, I do see where you're coming from, um, Stephen D. I kind of think that maybe they're waiting to see. That's why we've held on to the sixteen million dollars. And also, um, Ali, you know, they we, could, we're they kind of waiting to see well, also, who's Ali, out there. And also, Ali, they could be waiting because it's very likely they're going to send scouts to places like Minnesota for training correct. camp to see what which these one do we centers. want? Which and, one and, do we want? And, and also yeah. the, the one that's center. Of, that's basically well, kind of what well, I was. Yeah. Well, also not just which one do we want, but which of like the center that they do decide to cut mm-hmm. is he worth looking at? You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and, and the other part know. of it is, in addition, instead of blowing all that money now. Maybe a right tackle also becomes available at the same time, which could alter their position on it. You know what I mean? So that, that is not also- I like I like what Jonathan Dilge said. He said, I'm quite certain Applebaum, who I have said for all all offseason, what has Stephen D said, y'all? Matt Applebaum's the biggest offseason acquisition. Oh, we yeah, got. yeah, yeah. You know, okay. fair statement look, there. Look, fair look, statement look, there. Look at the film and saw flaws that could be corrected with coaching and scheme. Come on, the linemen are young and the, and all can't be that bad. I Very agree. I, I also think that we are okay with what we have in-house, and Matt Applebaum can, cor- and can everybody, correct some of these. And mistakes. I've been saying it for months. Everybody has to be prepared for this being all we do for the offensive line. It really – there's a reason we brought in five co- specialist coaches, yeah. including mm-hmm. guys like Applebaum. Same I've been thing. saying it for months. Yo, yo, what's good, fellas? Yo, hey, yo. what's going on, CB? That may or may not what's be up, the CB? right thing to do, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> no, no, color. That's hey, an excellent point. Hey, that, that's an excellent point. Real quick? Can I say something about the old line real quick? Yeah, yeah, Please. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, man. So just bringing some context. Like, you guys are talking about um, Connor Williams playing center, um, the shuffle of the offensive line, right? So the offensive line coach is trying to find cohesion. He's trying to find a unit that's going to work best mm-hmm. for to uh, for the offense, right? Yes. So if he if they put Collins at center, that means they're saying, hey, we feel like he's going to be the best piece here. He's a veteran. He's a veteran presence. At this he juncture. Obvi- he obviously is comfortable making the calls, whether it's, you know, calling out Mike Linebacker, calling out protections, et cetera. So they feel comfortable with them doing that. So I think we just, as fans, just kind of got to watch what they do yep. and just kind of hope that they make the right move in terms of putting guys where they are. But Connor Williams at center, as a veteran, that doesn't bother me at all because they obviously have something in mind when it comes to him playing center. And also with Tua being comfortable with the center that he has in place. Yep. Maybe maybe Dieter just wasn't the guy to to make the calls, to call the protection. Call out blocking. I think, I think, right. CB, I think, I think CB makes an excellent point that Tua, Tua is every bit involved in this decision in the room as anybody else because it's his, it's his center. So we got to keep that in mind. Can I add something? Can I add something? Because like I agree with what all of you guys have said. I agree. Now, my issue is, my major, major, major issue is this. I need to know from everybody, and this is the situation that we have, and this is why I get pissed off. The same way you guys have fought about Tyreek and Waddle wanting to return kicks for us because he's getting paid, he's on the roster. The situation at hand, and this is a fact, and this this doesn't go for everybody. It only goes for those those that, that know who I'm talking about. When you want to give the offensive line time because you have an apple bomb, you have 
four other guys that are able to coach up these young second and third year guys and be able to fix and, and scheme and move the offensive line in a certain uh, way that we haven't seen before on this team, Miami Dolphins team. My issue is going to be, though, I w- to what extent are you willing to give uh, Austin Jackson time on a Ian Eichenberg time? Le- you get me? If two, if we start losing games, I'm with you, the man. majority of the fingers are going to be pulling at Tua, and that is a fact. Or they're, gonna be, or, or they're going to be pointing squarely at where they already are, the offensive line, in which case we did nothing to fix it, which means the coaching staff will get the fingers pointed. Well, we in rea- and, and, and no, that, that is incorrect, that. Color. That is incorrect. They they went and got that one of the best free agents at left tackle. Now, if you say they didn't fix his blind side because we have a left-handed quarterback, then I would agree to that point because the most important position right but now on the, the field for Tua is right tackle. But that's this the is part why when you confusing Batman, that's the part that's confusing me too. Like, why are we focusing on a guy like Armstead on the left side? That wasn't where our problem was at. Because well, most most of the most of the major pass rushers are on, are on the left side. Well, not, on well, the right also, side. David. Also, David. Somebody also brought a fair point to me that knows a little bit more about the ins and outs of O-line, that believe it or not, with the scheme we're going to be implementing, it ends up being to his front side that actually does work out better to protect, like because of the way the misdirection works and all that. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I was about point. to say. So let, me, let me make my point, please. So yeah, let, let, me Pamela say, talk, let Pamela go. Let, let me say that. That is what I think, is that um, because at times last season we did see – the o-line improve but i think that the reason we haven't done any more is that the coaches that we have brought in see something we haven't seen yet and they obviously think that um, they can work with what we have so i i definitely think the coaching aspect is huge and i definitely that the um the the guys we have being young and being utilized in the proper way is going to make a difference. Can we say this though? Can, can we say, hold on, can we, can we say this? So if, if that's the case, if that, hold on, if that's the case, then we need to stop doing the eye test because the coaches know more than we do. So stop bringing up no, AI no, tech. No, wait, 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 Nobody. Not These That's coaches not, do not on, know Pete. more than I do. Hold and on, I'll never Pete. admit to that. <laughs> I got this, Pete. I got this. What's wrong with you, buddy? This, I've been building this. this team since Madden 1995. Every Pete, year I went to the Super Bowl. Pete, I got it. <laughs> Just say that. No, wait, 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 wait. That was good, Pete. Pete, that was good. Pete, still on this panel. Pete, you wasted too much energy with that take. I got this right now, dude. You don't want to know? You want to know? You Guess what? I, I, actually said, Guess what? I actually said it for Pete. I knew he was oh, going to answer I know, it. I know, I know, but I, I'm going to also say that if if you're right, then our previous coaches' eye tests are just as better than ours. Well, good point. Well, I think here's here's the other That's thing. That's why I argued yours. So, so one, of the things, <laughs> one of the things that I find interesting is, like, when, when, when I'm having a debate with somebody, when I'm trying to, you know, talk with somebody, I always say, hey, look, this is the my view. This is my viewpoint. This is how I perceive it, right? And when people want to bring in their topic, people, some people will be like, well, show me the stats. Show me the numbers. Or some people are like, well, show me on film where this happened. We can look at the same thing, all of us on this panel, and perceive it 10 different ways to Sunday. Correct. Okay. 100%. One at, one at, single snap. At, at, at 100, and, and that goes to a standpoint of how you perceive something may be different than another. So I have no problem when somebody says, you know what? I disagree with that. I I don't see it like that where I have the beef with somebody though. For example, I'll say that, um, you can use me. Go ahead. uh, Well, no, no, I was going to say, I'm I'm trying to think of, of a good example. I, when somebody is to the point, well, that's not true. That no, this is my perception. You you can perceive it differently. You can have a different viewpoint, but we're gonna wait till the year to see who's right and who's wrong. Correct. Because it will be shown on the field. Hey, Stephen. Let me say this. Let me say this. We we could all have opinions, 
But there's one thing that I do, I do, and I get credit to myself is I'm very spot on before the season starts on the record, two years in a row. We're a 10 win team right now, Steven. We're a 10 win team, and I've been two years in a spot on with the record. That man with does wins have and that losses. Clout. He does have that and clout. I, and I will that. tell you, Steven, we are a 10 win team if we go into the season with this offensive line. Okay. I'm, if I'm we're just a 10 right win team. So you're telling me everything we it did, Batman, it listen, it's a joke. Look, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not, it's everything not we yet. did it's gains us yet. one win more? Listen, That's a, Look, average. I'm sorry to tell he, you, buddy, he, 10 he, wins doesn't he, get you guaranteed he, in the playoff. He, this isn't 2012 team, anymore. This team is going to go as far as the O-line goes. That's what I said last year. That's why I gave... The record this is what I'm trying to tell you guys, though. You you, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the problem. This O line is done. This is what I'm trying. It's it's fixed. It, there, there's no holes. No, it's not. No, no, no. no, no, no name a fixed. hole. Na yeah, it's uh, right, fixed. Right tackle, we know the right guys. Tackle, right tackle. What's, right tackle. It's either going to be okay. Jackson or Liam Eikenberg. What's wrong okay, with that? They fixed. they have time to. Why don't they get time that's to improve right, so and on, get hold better? Hold on, just like Tua. You won't do that. You won't do that, Pete. Pete, let me. Let me. Let me. I'm I'm going to back you up a little bit here, Pete. Batman. Let me ask you a question. Do you not like Matt Applebaum? I love the coaching staff we've hired. I believe in them. Okay, but but, right. the, so, but this is so, my thing. If they do their job, if they do their job correctly, okay, yes, it could be an average. Okay. It could be an average O line. Yes, it right. could be. N now, now, what are the chances though? Well, we don't know that. We don't. Oh, know I, this O line. Yeah, yeah but this is the thing. Budget. Hold on, Pete. Hold New on, Pete. coaching let staff. Finish. I'll, I'll let you go, Pete. We don't know that, Batman. You have let to understand. Ask, oh, let me no, make it even easier. Hold on. Hold on. Based. Based, based on what we've seen from this O-line in the past, you are correct, right? We understand T Teron Armstead has injury history, right? We understand what this offensive line has not been able to do in the years past to the people that are still here. And we and, and CB83, I'm just going to put you on mute real quick just because I'm, I'm getting a lot of background noise. I, I, I will also say to that point too, Bat, Batman, is that when you're looking at the O-line, you're basing it on previous coaching staff, previous places. Pre now we have a brand new coaching staff when it comes to the O-line, when it comes to an offensive scheme, when it comes to how we go about putting certain people in certain – I think you have to take those things into account. And so then it goes to, Batman, a pure observation and perception thing. I can't say anything because I haven't seen it. It's July 7th, right? It's July 7th. 100%. But I, but what I will say is, look, man, we went out and got a, an offensive line coach who seems to be a boss, right? We went out mm -hmm. and, and, and we have an offensive scheme that is catered to, okay, look, hey, maybe it doesn't matter how great – it matters a little bit. I don't want to say that because then people are going to get on me. But I think this, this offense is catered to speed. So maybe where our weakness is, maybe it overshadows that a little bit, right? So I, I have to push back on you and say – Let's just wait and see, bro. No, Let's of course. My, my, my only can, listen. Hold on, Batman. Hold on, because my only hold on, Batman. Because my problem, my main problem that you didn't even bring up, Stephen, with Batman saying he's already saying it. The season hasn't started. He's already saying it. Oh, they're gonna blame Tua. It's the O line is bad. I, the I, O line I, is I, not gonna be bad. The O line is already said last way year, better. We were the worst in history. You said that last year. We were the worst in history last year. Bro, we started. A, a lot of teams look bad that. early on. A lot of no, teams Pete, look bad no, early Pete. on. You always say we started getting Pete. better. You want you, you made it seem like, bro, look, Batman, some of you guys. Uh, do I'm I? Realistic. You, so, no, I'm realistic. And you guys bro, sit here and make it seem like Tua never boy, had a clean pocket. Bad. You guys make it seem like Tua didn't have stretches on drives where his pocket was really good at times. He did. He in did. multiple games. But, and, and he, he did. didn't do anything with it. So let's not take away that he's had it. was bad worse than was good. Pete, guess what? We got it. My issue, my man, my issue is, is that you're already so putting what? the offensive line excuse when in reality, look at everything they did for this Pete, offensive I, I line. The trajectory. They They've improved the line. They've improved, they improved the exactly. offense. They've improved the coaching Should staff. Be, but I'm at 10 wins. And if we get to 10 wins later, don't be like, oh, no, Batman never said it. I'm telling you two. right now, Pete. Well, I'm not saying you never said But what I'm saying is 10 wins is not even worth what we just finished doing. Think about everything straight, we just the did. The offensive line There's is only two thirds of the wins. way done. Okay. That's that's the truth behind it. Yes, that's the issue. That's the issue. That's the issue. How is this? Okay, Ali. Right so you're saying we only have marks at center still. 
So once we know what we have yeah, okay, when preseason come, yeah, Batman yeah, can change his know. tune and actually say, hey, maybe we we're 11 to 12 team uh, game win. You know I, what I mean? I, 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 so I want to let CB83 go after me. CB, go after can me. I, can I go next? Quick. Can yeah, I go next? So, all right. CB83 after me. Now, let me just stay to Ali's point there. I have said on record, people have asked, well, how many wins do you think you're going to have this year, Stephen? And I'm like, 11, 12, or 13. I'm not ready to go and give that till I see preseason games and see what uh, re, um, reaction yep. is to inner squad practices. Because I believe, in my opinion, that based on the people that we brought in this offseason, Tyreek Hill alone gives you two extra wins, in my opinion. Based on how this team is and adding Tyreek to it, he gives you two extra wins alone. And does he does he help your offensive line a little bit? He does because of the speed. Because he, yeah, but Pete, the offensive no, no, line no, is basically equal in this case. No, 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 Tyreek no, should no, add we, two we wins. We have until the last preseason game to change our minds right, on the so, record. So, we have until yeah, the last I, preseason game. I agree. Game. So CB83, go ahead, CB83. I'm sorry, bro. That guy's going to need time so, to get downfield and make plays. You know that. Go ahead, CB83. Right. So, and – you guys were talking about the right tackle position, how it's so important. I think you guys kind of overestimate oh, some of this. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, CB83. You're fine, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys kind of over, like, you blow this right tackle thing up. Like, a lot of that stuff can be corrected by scheme. Like, there's not – Austin Jackson isn't going to always be on the blind side. Like, you can shift the line left – and put the running back on the backside. So the running back, especially if he's a good pass blocker, you can put him on the backside and allow him to block the backside in or whoever's there. So a lot of this stuff can be fixed by scheme. I think a lot of you guys aren't taking the coaching into consideration in the scheme and how you scheme different pass protections and things like that. Austin Jackson isn't going to be always left on an island by himself to block a defensive end. And you don't have to put him in positions like that. I think last year we put our players in positions where they were just out on the island by themselves, young players. And we didn't move the pocket and, enough and to it, your point, GB. We'll, we'll the move pocket. the pocket. It did, right, and it didn't help. So I think when you That's scheme up an offense, you can do a lot to hide deficiencies. Like sliding past for Putting running backs You're breaking up, CB. Block. So you can't just – you can't say in a vacuum that the line is going to be bad because they were bad last year. You got to look at the scheme as well. You guys haven't seen the scheme yet, so you can't really say Austin Jackson is going to be a bad right tackle. I mean, he played well enough as rookie year, and he played well before injury. So – if we can get him back to where he was and then help him with the scheme as well, we'll be in a much better shape. So don't just take look at players and say, oh, this player is bad, so we're going to be bad. It's about scheme as well, the chess game. And that's what you guys don't take into consideration is how you scheme up an offense, how you attack different defenses. So you got to take that into consideration. Austin Jackson may be pulling around doing a loop-de-loop and coming it back to block a guy, you just don't know how he's going to do it. And there's a bunch of different things in the NFL game and intricacies that you got to take into consideration when you talk about offensive line, scheme, how you hide, block, whether it's right. pass protection or whether it's run blocking. All right, I, I, so, Draymond, I think you bring up a great point. Uh, Bonjo, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> just, just, to, just to go off. Um, what CB83 is saying, but really to really bring an argument that actually a topic that um, my good friend Lewis said is that in the beginning, the thing is, last year we saw in the opening drive, the offensive line, let's just say the offense, I'm not even going to say the offense were able to literally go down the field and score our drives, right? And it's usually our second, third, fourth, and, you know, second half type of drives where we keep stalling out, right? So... And that could be predicated on adjustments that the coaches make as far as play calling and, you know, not adjusting to what the defense is doing, right? So if we're going to have faith in our coaches like we have, we got to have faith that they're going to make the right play calls and, uh, and do the proper in-game adjustments. Because if our offensive line, those same players, the same weapons last year was able to go down the field and we upgraded certain positions, Naturally, 
is gonna is gonna fall into this year as well, right? Where you're gonna have those upgraded positions, and you are gonna have those drives be sustained more because of better play calling. If we are gonna if we're gonna sit there and have faith in our coaches, right? Yeah, but I agree. I I agree with Von Joe. Coaching is very important. So now that we have good coaches on the offensive line, we best believe that the quarterback coach can do wonders with Tua as well. So he will have time, and Tua will be better because of the coaching staff. Well, well, well I, I, I think that, you know, as far, I don't want to put specifically the quarterback coach, but what I will say to it is you have to understand that this is an entire new offensive scheme that, that I, truly, I truly believe that McDaniel was brought in here for two reasons. Number one, to revamp and restructure the entire offense as is. And number two, to also give Tua a vote of confidence that he's never had before. I Can really I say something before I jump issues. off? I want to give somebody a chance to jump on and take my spot. Um, um, I want to say, like, I, listen, you're right. Um, I think uh, uh, for the most part, you know, obviously we have until the end of the uh, pre preseason game four for me to make my final evaluation. I, I usually... You mean game I, three? Game, yeah, game three. Yeah, I keep thinking we got four games. Mm -hmm. uh, after game three in the preseason, I'll be able to get my final uh, uh, record prediction. Things can change, right? Players can be developed. You know, my frustration is that I know the majority of the fan base. I'm not. I'm not saying everybody here, but I'm saying the majority of the fan base is not going to allow the time that Austin Jackson needs to develop because I think he can do it. The thing is, they're not going to be willing to give him that time, Stephen. That's my pushback. That is my pushback. And because of that, at the end of the day, Tua is going to be faulted for that. And that's what I don't want. That's why I say what I say. I so think I a lot of people will, everybody. though. Bat, YouTube, Batman, I, I and I think just I to ease your mind a little bit, I think a lot of people will if we get some depth there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, much love to everybody, man. Keep doing your thing. Great show, Love you, Steven. Batman. Be good, if you, if you do you, Batman. Batman. I'll, I'll join you guys Bye. tomorrow morning uh, if you do a show. Much love, guys. Spread kindness. Right. Bye, Batman. 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 To, to CB 83's I got, point. I got to go, too. I got to go, too. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Bye. 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 All right. Y'all going to force Ir Steven Irving. to say those words, man. You know, Irving. What's you know, up, Irving? Oh, hey. What's Steven. up, man? I fell asleep. Oh, I fell Alex, asleep, Alex, man. Now, hold on. Hold on, guys. Pete was just about to agree with CB. This is Blockbuster. We can't let that go. Go on, Pete. No, I was not agreeing with CB83 because <laughs> hey, I mean, I, I, no, I'm not, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hey, you I, started by you started I actually by saying with with I was gonna say this wait, is what I was gonna you, you this is what I was gonna say. Point. I want to hear Stop it. Back <laughs> Listen, this is what I was gonna say to CB83. He makes valid points about that offensive line. P, you sound like you're going like you're far, dude. Oh, my bad. Can you guys hear me better now? Like yeah, CB83, yeah, yeah, yeah. he made valid points. He, you could scheme around those offensive line. I mentioned that. But when you get that consistently two to three weeks in, defensive coaches are seeing what guys need help, and they start sending overloads. They'll start standing stunts that way. And those are the same moves and stuff that our quarterback struggled in. So it's going to be the same if those guys, with or without the help, there, there's defensive assignments you can put over there to make the strength become a weakness. That's that's all I'm saying. And if that's your, what you're going to plan on doing all year, CB83 is always using the running back as a chip to the right and always moving the line to the right to always get extra help. Teams will key on that, and it will be a disaster. But that's And that's the chess game, man, and that's why you play it. That's why you play the game. And you also have tight ends as well. So you put a tight end in there. Hey, Austin Jackson ain't gotta. He ain't gotta go as far. He got a tight end to help him, to to give him a little, yeah. give him a little bit before he gets in the flat. And he get, and he can and, get better throughout the back. season. And he can get better throughout the season. Yeah, and plus, we got a fullback also. That's true. He's it, not, also, he's not a bad player. Yeah, but you know how important it is to run a play. Let's say you're running a play CB83 and you know the defense is not being they, – they haven't figured it out. You're going to want to run that play at least two or three more times in that same game mm -hmm. and that formation. And that same play that's working, you can't just run it the same. You have to be able to mirror it, flip it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if our problems are on the right side, we can't mirror plays. We can't flip them to the other side because then they're not going to work. And that's we're very a, limited a, with play call duty. I, 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 I want to respond to you, Pete, real quick. I want to respond to oh, you real quick. I want to respond when it comes to, to like o too. overloads and, and when it comes to uh, stunts, <laughs> that's up to the offensive line. That's that's why you got to have a smart center. 
You got to have guys that can be able to identify the stunts and the twists and all those types of things when you're when, when you're uh, because they're they're also in charge of setting the protections and shifting the line whenever they see something. OK, so that that's why you have to have smarter offensive line. You have to have better offensive line communication in order to help the quarterback do that. OK, mm -hmm. hey, and, so that's why you got to improve the offensive line. Yeah, but and bottom that's line why is, people bottom get line coached to get better. Like, look, like look, listen, look. Tua, what his problem is, is the pre-snap game when it comes to reading different coverages. And how de that yeah. needs to learn how defenses disguise right. their and, coverages. And keep in mind, guys, there's something, there's also an, an effective strategy that we have not seen implemented in two years. And that's getting Tua out of the pocket. I mean, for yes. all these people that want to equate him to Russell Wilson... That's where Russell Wilson thrives and, and, is outside the pocket. And that's exactly why that's, that's exactly true, why Howard. they brought. That's very true. And that's exactly that's why I'm, they brought Mike. Of, that's exactly. Of, oh, uh, real quick, real quick. That's exactly why they brought someone like Mike McDaniel because they he recognized to his strengths. He saw how he ran this sort of similar scheme at Alabama. So he's like, okay, listen, what what is Tua best at? He's best at when he's on the move, when he's working the half level of the field oh, because yeah. he goes. Through all three levels, he reads yeah, all three levels of the defense so well. When yeah, but color, 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 color. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. The very play that made him famous, he was rolled out of the pocket to throw a bomb. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, but exactly. color, so that's color. There's, there's, there's Daniel. Daniel. Like, like Russell example, Wilson and, 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 and hold on. Is that Alex? Hold on, yes. Alex. Russell but Wilson and Tua moving out of the pocket look completely different. I don't yeah. know if you guys see the difference. One looks frantic, and the other one looks that, like they're looking to make a play. Be, okay, okay, the, the, that the may one be thing the I case, would... but I'm talking about scheming to get him outside the pocket right, to open up right. his throwing lanes and his throwing vision and just get the ball down the field. That's what made, That's literally what Russell Wilson does. No, and yeah, the thing I is, you, guys, the thing is like, this off... Go no, ahead, go no, ahead. I didn't no, let you speak. Go no, ahead, brother. Go, go ahead. No, no, speak. no, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to No, no, you go off, ahead. Bro. You go ahead. I spoke. I was, was going to say, pro prime example to the Arizona game. A lot of the a lot of the Arizona game, what a lot of the times Tua was running outside the pocket. There was a rollout outside the pocket. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why true. he was so good in that game because he was rolling outside and he made plays on his legs. Kyler mm -hmm. Murray, you know, too. And, when have you seen yeah, Kyler Murray yes, say yes, and Joe exactly, in the pocket Kyler, and throw yeah. a bomb? Yes, exactly. Uh, and another thing yep. is now, quick question. I want to go back to O-line for a second. Uh, now we're kind of when it's at center, there's going to be two open positions. That's left guard and that's right tackle. Correct? There's going to be two, there's going to be two open competitions for the, for the starting guard and the starting right tackle, right or wrong. That's what we think, yeah. Maybe, maybe. So, maybe. Okay, so... So one, so one's gonna take the left guard and one's gonna take the right tackle it's between right. me and Michael Berg and Austin Jackson. I mm -hmm. think Austin Jackson is a better guard than I think as a right tackle, based on what we saw. Because when when he was in guard, he he had spurts where he put, where he was dominant at, at the guard. But I think eh. he put he needs to he needs to be I don't know about dominant with the the, well, the war times it, not not all the time. Not, there were times that he. That he made a lot of. He has some good reps. Yes, he has but, some good but, reps. But but here's the thing: the reason where I'm getting where I'm getting at here is that in his rookie year, he had Eric Flowers, a veteran, right next to him. That's why he was good. You put Tariq Armstead next to Austin Jackson. I think he's going to lean off of Tariq Armstead, no, and he's going to get better. And which could be Austin the case, free. but right, which could be the case, but. Honestly, yeah, but he's Austin a tackle. Austin, he's a tackle. Austin, he's a prototype a, tackle. Even even at right tackle, his he, arms he are too long. He, he doesn't have much of an anchor, and his arms are too long to be a guard. Yet he's more of a tackle. That's why I like him more at, on the, on the tackle position. Man, and, I don't and, know. He's got quick feet. But I think I think he's Tariq Armstead alone makes Liam Eikenberg and Austin Jackson better. Austin Jackson's Tariq, big. Yeah, Austin Jackson's he, biggest problem is technique and fundamentals. If he yes, can get that down yes. right, he'll be solid. Exactly. But Austin Jackson, Austin Jackson is a better tackle than he is a guard. Exactly. And, yeah, and right. he's a honestly, okay. he's okay, a he's a better tackle than Eichenberg. So that's why you put Eichenberg right. on the inside because he's right. just a better. Yeah, tackle. That makes sense the on why Eichenberg has been working out with uh, no, Armstead on, the, I on trust, the side. I trust Austin Jackson's feet. Before I trust Eichenberg's feet it's on the outside. How did yeah, you but, land on but such Eichenberg a healthy is more, debate, bro? Damn. 
Eichenberg is more I improved. We were, I thought we were going to the evil side earlier. I'm glad yeah, but Eichenberg, good. Eichenberg is more disciplined in his footwork than Austin Jackson is. Austin yeah, Jackson's yeah. got the quicker yeah, feet. That's definitely it. is. Yeah, because Liam Eichenberg's Eichenberg got anchor, didn't have anchor a lot for of feet, bro. Like Austin Jackson did yeah. Like yeah. I, I, hey, look, do, does this knock off the offensive line concerns? If the look, I promise you, I know I dog midget quarterbacks, but listen to me when I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if the Dolphins can actually pull this move off and trade Tua and Waddle to the Cardinals for Kyler Murray, oh, that Kyler's right like there, that. No. I, I mean, like that one. I think no. with the thousand yard rushing yards that he brings, his eight to ten rushing touchdowns, plus a simplified offense with this guy. We would not have these offensive line concerns. We will I, I have the three he, tiny, close, fastest guys. Oh, no, we'll lose Waddle. Close, but they're very similar quarterbacks, Pete. They're, they're very they're similar quarterbacks. They're, yeah, they're, but yeah, athletically. The one has more athletic. No, and, yeah. Athletically. Murray, no, is, bro. Is this is the move. Apps. You know what? Kyler With Kyler Murray, I wouldn't trade Jalen Waddle. I would actually, for Kyler Murray, I would honestly trade Tua and both first round draft picks next year for Kyler Murray. Keep Waddle on the team and and give him like a like a three year deal. A big max yeah. three year fully that, guaranteed that will, deal. But that that anyways, um because, but, listen, um, but Tua gotta show up. That needs yeah. to happen right yeah. now and you guys really, know it. Really quick, really you really guys really deep down right now know it. Yeah, I know. Arizona you, 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 really right quick, now. I wanted to answer um um uh um uh, Pete, you're uh, gone for I'm 10 sorry. minutes. Bye. <laughs> Listen, real quick. Um, I was going to say um, that a lot of going back to Mike McDaniel. Like it was Mike such McDaniel's, a good combo that Pete does that. Goodbye, Pete. That's too funny. Sorry, <laughs> but anyways, bro, but... like I was saying, going back to Mike McDaniel, that Mike McDaniel is, is, is going to get rid of the whole, you know, empty <laughs> formations, the whole spread offense where you got to work the whole field. Jeez. He's going to bring an offense that was more attuned to Jimmy Garoppolo's strengths, which is what a lot of people compare to it to. So, where they're going to have – the offense is going to be set where you have a lot of condensed sets near the offensive linemen, right? So you're going to have, like, a lot of stacks. You're going to have a mm -hmm. lot of, you know, bunch formations. You, you're going to have Two players, wide receivers. Two yeah, tight wide receivers really playing close to oh, the line boy. of scrimmage, and really close to the ball. And so – and where, you, where these guys are going to work the middle of the field. Instead of – because Tua's strength is not really throwing outside, you know, outside the numbers. I know he can do it. But that's not his a consistent part of his game. He's going to work that middle part of the field. That's why it's very, really important for him to work on that arm velocity so he can improve in those intermediate parts of the field. And if he can do that, you're, you can, you're, you know, you're looking at, a, you know, a, a, hey, he could be a good quarterback. He could be a cool, yeah. good quarterback if he really gets that too. Yeah, now, I know I've said in the past fair. that I don't believe in Tua. But I think he could be better next year. I think he could be better next year. Just to, hey, just to piggyback off that, just to piggyback off that real quick. Um, so we talk about pre-snap, Tua not being good pre-snap and all of this mm -hmm. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And when we look at our offensive line last year, um, mm -hmm. they just didn't get, do a good job communicating, right? And right. I, I agree honestly, with that. it shouldn't it shouldn't be the quarterback's job. When I coached offensive line, it wasn't my quarterback's job to call out protections and do all of this stuff. Because they're right. also re – they they have to read the defense, what the defense right. is giving them, and they also have to kind of count numbers in the box and things like that. So right. I'm not putting everything on my the quarterback. Center too. Like, like the my center, center – exactly. That's what I – that was like what I was trying to center, tell Pete. That's what I was trying to tell my Pete. My center – my center has to be able to – Call out protection to communicate with guys. The mics, tackling guard, the blitzes, tackling yeah. guard. If you're working together, you need to communicate that. Tua doesn't yep. have to call that. He, he shouldn't be trying to call all of this stuff. Yeah, like his the only offensive job is line to like, should be handling. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The go offensive line. All around oh, let him finish. Let him finish. I want to hear him. Ninety-five degrees. Degree 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 guys, yeah, let me the, hit, the offensive line. The offensive line should be handling everything in the box, for the most part. Tua should be maybe counting guys. And then maybe flipping a play if necessary, okay. but the O line should be kind of handling everything. Outside of that, Tua should just be working the secondary. Like if right. he can get exactly. more comfortable just looking at the defense and, and working the secondary, as opposed to having to help the offensive line, help the running backs get where they're supposed to be. It just becomes a lot for a guy who's young and right. does, and doesn't yeah, have the CB, experience. CB's, and that's CB's why OJ McDuffie said that. OJ McDuffie real, real, real told quick. us in a space yeah. that. Yeah. Well, real quick, a quarterback can look at. at 
CB makes Bye a great point it. because the actual protections, no. But when you look at a, a formation that you're set in and you're like, and you think to yourself as a quarterback, there is no amount of adjustments this offensive line could make for this formation. I've got to audible to a completely different formation. That's what they right. mean by calling protection. Right, you know right, I mean? right, 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 right. But, hey, guys, there's rarely, there's rarely plays that you get in that you can't do anything to make a play out of it. Like, that's what I want you guys to understand. As an offensive coordinator, if I call a play, there's rarely going to be a play pre-snap that I see a defense and I'm going to say, hey, my guys just cannot – run this play at all. That's not okay. the case a lot so, of times. You know? CB. Mm. CB. Okay, I'm not going to argue that. That's not that, the case. You know, CB, I'm not going to argue that Tua is not supposed to be doing all that. That's that's a mute point, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's the thing. Now that you have Connor, this is his first year playing center, right? So we're putting in him, and he's supposed to be calling out the protection. So do we trust a first year center doing it? But no, we don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro. They try to center there. He played some no, center in Dallas. We don't. We don't know if he's going to be starting center. He played some center in Dallas. And yeah, we don't. Yeah. We don't yeah. Hey, and we don't though. know what his response. Hey, it doesn't have to be the center making all the smart, calls. Though. The I think he could do it though. The, he could have been, now, he could have been making hard. the calls in Dallas. He could have been yeah, making all that, the calls in Dallas. Hard. That's true. That's a good point. I, I talked to. I talked That's to a good point, but we don't know that, right? Right, but we don't know that. But he could have been making. He could have been making all the calls in Dallas. Like you don't know that. That's he true. That's been, we also that don't even know. I'll if give you that. Find out by going to look at the film. I have response to Vonjo. You can't just constantly put yourself in oblivion. You can always find out whether or not he called the plays in Dallas. I feel like nobody has been. We're not living in the 18th century. Guys, Except for George to, Washington. A Dallas Cowboy fan told me my story. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Get this, right? Oh, boy. This is, this is, this is, what did right? I miss? A Dallas Cowboy fan came into the, yeah, 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 came yeah, into the store, and I talked I, to him about Connor Williams. Uh, I'm sorry, Alex. We have to hold point on, out on, the on, irony. Of, we have to point out the irony of crypto coming in being like, we're not in the 18th century with a, <laughs> with a Washington avatar. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on, hold on, hold on. CB, I'm gonna put you on mute, and I want Alex to go. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, I got right, So, so I talked to, so I talked to a Dallas Cowboy fan that came into the store the other day, and I asked him about Connor Williams, you know, playing center. He said that Connor Williams played a lot of center the last two years in Dallas when, um, the, when they had that, um, what was it, Frederick? I think it was, or the, or the starting center went down a couple times, so they moved, they moved it from guard to center. And he played very, very well at both at, at center at the center position. He called out he called out a lot of protection schemes and everything. So, so that's what I'm saying. You, I don't you know. Can't. I was a, I was in so a Twitter. Connor, I was in a Twitter space. I was in a Twitter space and it had like a hodgepodge of fans in there. And that Dallas person was like, "Hey, good luck." <clears throat> so I'm hearing mixed uh, reviews. Well, you know, but hey, guys, yeah, Mike, Mike McDaniel's is OCD. Guys, guys, Mike Mike McDaniel's is OCD. So prior to signing Connor Williams, he probably looked at every give you. freaking snap, every snap he played at center. So there's not going to be uh, any <laughs> doubt in his mind. Yeah. That he can well, be the guy. That he is he OCD. The fact that he does seem a little OCD, CB eighty three. I'll give you that. That he probably was very meticulous in making this decision and probably looked at a million options. Well, you also forget Joe Phil but Queasy Joe was the was the O-line coach there last year. So, Oh, yeah. No, but the, I, 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 people, when Dallas fans complained about um, Connor Williams, it's because of, his, uh, because of his performance at guard, at left guard. And it was not because he wasn't a good left guard. It's because of the penalties. Well, I'll tell you what, then those penalties. And he was very disciplined those, years yeah. before. I don't get that. I don't get where well, Cowboys fans is, are complaining those penalties, about. Him. Those, those, those penalties, those penalties that he made uh, oh, were drive killers, <laughs> literally. Oh yeah, yeah, that's but, probably why. Yeah. But the penalties. But here's 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 the thing. The penalties. You know, even though those penalties hurt him a oh, lot, it is was still one of the thing. top. What parts. was da- what was Dallas' was record one of the last top year? Parts. Birds and singing, the sun is shining. I think that was <laughs> uh, they lost. Yeah. They lost in the division around nice. San Francisco. Ten to seven the penalties are all coachable great day, too. too. It's not great like day. you can't coach out of it. Yeah, you can correct those. Those can be coached. Those can be corrected. I've seen that years ago. Yeah, the Dolphins were one of went, went from one of the worst penalty, worst penalized team in the league to one of the least penalized teams in the league. That's for real. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I sure remember that. 
Yep. Actually, yep, yep. Yep. Actually, I think that's vice. Was, I, no, I think that's vice versa. That we were actually the least Cowboys was twelve and, and five last year. And I last thought year so. was the most penal, one of the most. Yeah, that that should a good record. No, no, he, he, no, Von Joe. He talking about the past. In the past, that in the past, oh. there were times where we were the worst penalized team in the NFL. I've, I've seen okay. that. Okay. Because I know last year we were our penalties actually went up. Yeah, it was the it was the early part of last year, and then they got a little bit more discipline later in the year. For us, the second year, that's for us, his first year in 2019, we were bad in penalties, but his second year, we were actually hey, the least. I, I, Alex, penalties you need that? Alex right. again, can, can you repeat what you said a Dallas Cowboy player came in to your store? No, a Dallas Cowboy fan. A okay. Dallas Cowboy fan. And what did he say of Connor? What was his take he on Connor Williams? He said his take was Connor Williams that we're getting a pretty good versatile guard, and he actually played center a lot of times. He saw him at center a lot of times, and he and he called out a lot of good protection schemes, and he was pretty good there, pretty much. You know, I always uh, go, I always go back to uh, the Buffalo unless he was game. lying to me. No, the Buffalo game in week two. The Buffalo well, I heard the same game thing about John Quay. Where, where where Tua got hurt. And I think about that game, and I'm like, man, what if we had a, whatchamacallit, an offensive line that could have called out that blitz or that protection? Is he that called it that... out, though, Steven. D- so, I it... remember what he – I remember that game. I was there. You were there, I think, you too, right? I was we at the both game, there. Yeah. Uh, I wanted yeah. to bring up – I wanted to bring out, up – He called out that scheme. He hey, called I wanted it out to... before he went to the shotgun. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to, I wanted to bring up – I want to bring up a comment that EM brought up that it, also another good thing about Austin Jackson going to the right side that he's going to be facing the less athletic option of the defensive end. So he does he doesn't have to be facing the you know the athletic ends that have been around the arc and stuff that can get around him quick. And that, that, I think that's a that, good point that's too. Why they switching him right side earlier? But that but yeah. that was and and when when Tua got hurt, that was Jordan Poyer that got yeah. hurt him. Right? Was that Poyer coming in from the corner blitz? No, uh, no, no, that no, was, was a linebacker. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. That was AJ Vanessa. Okay, that was AJ Vanessa. That totally. Yeah, yeah that was Jesse Davis, Davis that, that gave up that, that block. He came, he came in. He, he came up in Jesse free. Davis completely. Hey, yeah, that's, that's what happens. Guys, hey, that's that's what, guys and Two honestly, out that's, that, that, that's that, what that, that's what happens. That's what happens with poor communication on the offensive line. Guys get yep, killed. Yep. And that's, yep. that's it's guys. Tua called out that protection. You said it a hundred times. Yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. So he <laughs> called it out. Now <laughs> we got it. We got My it. My bad, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. So, so I'm what sorry. I and what I'm I want sorry. you guys to understand was, is like that was funny. <laughs> the communication is essential. So if they can just kind of gel hey, together, hey, communicate. C- C- CB, can I just ask a question? Hey, um. Did he call out that protection? <laughs> hey, that's funny. He I was called it ask out. The same question. Asked, he called it out. Hey guys, Alex, I'm sorry. I don't I'm know. Sorry. How he called it out. <laughs> not, not the not I, not, I'm the, sorry, not the sack I'm from sorry. before. Not the sack from before. Like with, with the one with the with the safety blitz, where where I think it was Jordan Poyer, right? That that hit him the second time. Yeah, I think he, so. he, he, left, he's clearly pointing side? out. Yeah, yeah, he's clearly pointing out the the mic, and he's pointing out he's clearly pointing out the safety blitz. It's just that for some reason. Malcolm Brown. We don't went to rotate the over there. Yeah. To go to rotate. go over to Edmonds. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? You're supposed to be staying I, by your quarterback. So that, actually, that was just he, a Malcolm he, Brown. Actually, from from that previous stack, he actually motioned the receiver away from the blitz for some weird reason. I, I, Rashad, I, I, Rashad, I Rashad, you were in the back no, room. That was Did the you first. That was the first one. That was the first Rashad? stack. Yeah, the first one, yeah. Yeah, that he was his fault. That was his fault. Yeah, I agree. I, agree. I was like, there's a guy on the line right there. But That's true. Take that yourself, was, I take yourself <laughs> off you, Rashad. Go ahead, Rashad. I agree. What are you saying? It's, 100%. It's, it's a lot of close facts to these statements. Uh, AJ Espinosa is the one that hurt to a – he didn't kill Davis. Jesse Davis didn't touch him at all. The Poirier <laughs> Blitz, the Poirier <laughs> Blitz, he did call out. Yeah, um, I just Malcolm I, Brown ran. Just said that. Are you sure middle. that he called? I don't get it, guys. He, I don't no, think no. we know. The, we, the first set. Quite... The first set. No, I saw it like a million times. He clearly did. Okay, the first I'm set, sorry. he called out. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Hey, did, he, <laughs> did, did he call out the blitz? The first one, <laughs> yes. He's but clearly AJ, pointing out the first one. <laughs> okay, the the first one. He's motioning. Uh, number eighty-two. I forget his name all the time. The the tight end, the tight end fullback, whatever. And it, they were max protect, and he motions he motions the guy to the right side, and he leaves the 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 to the left side. I'm sorry, and he leaves the right side like wide open, dude. Like that's RPO for you. That that's that's literally how it's ran. 
but uh, I don't know if it was yeah. RPO. I think he was under center. I gotta I gotta look at it again. I don't know if he was under center or RPO, but I remember he motioned the the wrong guy. And yeah, it was, it was the, yeah. the receiver motioned it. I was just like, right. Whoa, that don't look right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a mistake. And man. he's he he said hike and he got blown up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. He said hike yeah. and that guy came when, in. Boom. When, Boom. when AJ free. got hurt, I mean, when AJ got him, that wasn't no. That was the last was a, play. No, 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 no. I was talking about the first sack. First time, yeah. that was smart. He spelt that right or wrong. Dav- that was Jesse Davis having a snack, or um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was having a I public sub at the, at the time. The, there's oh, one God. man in front of you. How do you not touch him at all? Like, how does he I run? He was, I, I don't know. He was daydreaming about public subs. And he was like, yo, you know what? Hey, this public hey. sub is going to hit. Y'all better stop, man. Don't be talking about public <laughs> That's subs. That's exactly what he was saying. Jesse Davis That's like, real. man. I would, I I would know, that, Stevie D. Don't, don't talk about no pub. I subs. know, bro. I'm Y'all killing you. me with public subs. I'm, I'm telling you. Telling you. That's what Jesse or, Devin or, said. Or, he was or like, better yet, I get... hang, hangry owl subs in Pembroke Pines. Well, I'm, I'm going for an ultimate sub for my lunch right now. You know, Pembroke Pines ain't too that. far away from the stadium. Pembroke Pines ain't too far away from the stadium. So I'm just saying, man. Hangry owl. I told, I told, we're gonna do a live show this year from Hangry Owls. We're gonna do a live show. Okay, that'll be what that would. Yeah, that's what's up. We might do a Just Saturday like, hey, afternoon man. show from there this year during one of the home games. What are you gonna be it. at opening game? Are you gonna be at the opening game? I will be. So I've already started to look into doing some stuff. I don't think I. I think honestly, so, I just want to enjoy opening weekend. And so I don't know if I am going to stop do being a show lazy, Steven. Stop being well, lazy. I'll be. I'm going to do a live show that Friday from uh, Dirty Sportswear, uh-huh. and then and then um, at least that's the plan right now. And then Saturday, I don't know if I'm going to do a live show from any of the work because other people are having live events. So I'd rather just enjoy that. And then sa- Sunday, I'll be doing the pregame show live from East 32. So it'll be Yo, speaking time. of East 32, where is Cam at? I haven't seen, heard from Cam. Cam What's up Cam's, with Cam's, Cam's literally, so I hope Cam's listening. You don't love us no more? Not, you don't love us no more. That's what it is. Cameron hates us now. No. Cameron's been on, uh, like, doing stuff with his family, work, vacation, uh, swim meets, everything for like the last couple of weeks. So uh, he's been Here we go trying to be a dad. Jeez. I know, I know, right? The nerve of Cameron <laughs> being a father, being a trying father. To be a super, trying to be a super father. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Hey, guys, hey, guys I got to roll, man. Show. I got to roll real quick. So I wanted to give y'all a shout out. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate y'all having me. Hey, right, Drake, see, Drake, Drake, see, Drake, 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 I work for a company called Horizon Cinemas. It's a local movie theater chain, um, and we are doing our first Horizon ever. Cinemas, Horizon Cinemas. Do they have don't in D- There's only I five locations up here. In Michigan. There's only they're, they're local. They're, they're local up here in Maryland. Right? Oh, okay. It's, okay. It's, it's 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 a it's a, it's a privately owned small a family owned chain, um, but we're doing our first live stream tonight at five at six p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Thor premiere. And we're gonna have people dressed up in cosplay. We're gonna do movie trivia. That's what's up, Steve. Talk about. So 6 p.m. tonight. The the link is in the chat. Please please go. Uh, we only have 10 subscribers. It's a brand new channel. So if all of you could go subscribe to the channel, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Public. 100, bro. No, it's I'll, being I'll, subscribe. Petty. I'll subscribe. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Is that? Is that color at Publix? Y'all just trying to you. get me to stop in there, ain't you, man? <laughs> hey, hey, no, hey, hey. I don't have no. I don't have no. He heard right Publix sub and he went to Publix. Very jealous. He heard right Publix sub and he went to Publix. Mm. I, I need some oh, chicken God. tender subs in my life. Hey, you gotta right, get so, some of that. You gotta so get real, some iced tea while you at it, color. Get so, some iced tea. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that iced tea is nasty, bro. Real good. Six. 6 p.m. Are you beeping the horn at somebody, Von Joe? Yeah. You have a drug range? No, he was sitting at the light. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Get off your phone. Look up. I hate when people do that, man. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. I'm to get some Dude. So, yeah, 6 Von p.m. Joe, tonight. your horn's like a <laughs> cupcake <laughs> horn, bro. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, just remember, their bakery is 10 times Take better than their horn. All right, five people. So five more. So, so, uh, 
Hey, Charles Baker is the shit. Sorry. Level two, See, y'all got Stephen D taking my, uh, taking hey, my le- subs. Level two, <laughs> noob, level two noob said. I got you, Stephen. Don't worry about it. Le- level two calm, noob said. Calm down, calm down Bob, Bob Karen. Karen. <laughs> Are you at This is what I was two? trying to get to. Yes. This is that's why that's why he got the horn. Hold up, is color? Are you and color at the same Publix right now? No, no, they're everywhere, Co- Stephen. Who knows if color was the guy in front of him? Down south. <laughs> I, hey, well, Cole, Cole, Cole color, get on camera, color, get on camera. Yeah. So Cole you, was you and bike. Bon Jo, I'm saying public needs to sponsor our show. Oh. <laughs> Yo, but Steve, I'm about to walk in. I got bad service when I get in there, though. No, hey, man, Publix, I, I want to hey, see Steven. you. Hold on, I put put the Publix out. For, oh, you you're leaving Publix. Never mind, color. Yeah, I already passed. I already uh, left the Publix, but Steven, I, I just wanted website, everybody to see what 95 the degree heat looks like. For it. <laughs> Horizon Cinemas, yes. Jesus. Oh, the heat and the, humi- the, the, heat and the just, humidity, bro. It's crazy. Try the apple fritter. Let's do uh, final thoughts of the day. We'll do final thoughts of the day. Here. Can I go first? Yes, you can, Ali. Oh. Ali. All right. Ali. So, Ali, I, Ali. you know, I feel I'm gonna Prince I'm gonna Ali. end with positivity because yes, sir. I've been told I've been too negative on a couple of things over the past couple of days. So, I really do feel that we're more than a 10 win team. I think I still on board with 13 to 14 wins if we execute. Um, I do feel confident that the offensive line will definitely perform better than they did last year. I, I do feel that it's two thirds of the way done. I think we're maybe one, one player out of being a complete offensive line, but we could have that person on our team already. I, it's, it's remained to be seen, but, uh, I love you all. I love the content here, Stephen D. I think you guys are all great and fins up. Fins up, brother. Oh, yeah, Ali. Later. Later, Ali. Love you too, Ali. Later, Later Ali. Later. Later, man. Love the love. Love the love here. I love it. Andrevius, how dare you put a comment up like that? You, I, somebody needs to, uh, uh, Andrevius, you know what you could do? You could just, you could time out everybody so nobody has a final thought of the day. You could do that. <laughs> yeah. just the show. Besides um, me, I'm a tour lover. <laughs> All right, who wants to go next? <laughs> I guess I go next. All right, Mr. Pope, go ahead, sir. Uh, Stephen D, thanks for having me on the show. Um, lately, I've been having little technical problems and also been falling asleep on some of these platforms. So I ask all of y'all, please forgive me. Well, you haven't been falling asleep on my show. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, oh, real, real quick, Mr. Pope. Um, I just, I, I just want to ask all you guys for, um, for my wife's uh, sister uh, for prayers. Because oh. they're giving her, they're giving her two weeks to live. Okay, um, oh my she, goodness. she's bat- wow, she's man. losing her battle. She's I, I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want to make this, but um, yeah, but she's losing her battle to cancer. Okay, and no she, man, it, she, it, she's in Orlando. Right no, it's nothing so, wrong with that, man. We got, we got. It's, you know, it's always good to bring up so we can, you know, we can pray. Yeah, yeah, so man. pray for yeah. the best. Yeah. 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 What, what's what's else? Yeah. What's I lost else my. Gra- I lost my. Yeah, man. I lost my grandfather to colon cancer, so I know, bro. What's also crazy that this is this is my uh, wife's uh, second sister that she lost oh, really? in two years. Mm-hmm. She lost her she lost her other sister last year. She passed away in her sleep. Mm-hmm. All right. So, well, Alex, yeah, Alex, bro, you got thoughts and prayers here, bro. You for sure, bro. Real. I I heard you real. Always. I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Mr. Polk. Go ahead, man. No, no, I'm no, sorry. no, no. Listen, no, listen. <laughs> I'm glad That's that you know, Mr. Polk. Mr. Polk will do it. He 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 will definitely yeah. pray. He he's yeah. yeah. That's for real, man. I I'm, I I do that. I, I do that for anybody. You know, even if I don't know it, I I pray for you. So yeah. no, it, it, it's no problem with that. And um, one love to all you guys, man. I, I enjoy y'all for sure, love, Mr. Love, Mr. Mr. Polk. Appreciate that. Love you, Ditto, ditto. Care, all right, man. all right, Alex. Yeah, go man. ahead, man. You can finish your finish up with your final thought of the day, there, Alex. No, but I appreciate all you guys. You know, Stephen. You know, I love the show, bro. And, you know, even though I come, I come in late a lot of times, and I don't get a chance to speak that much on the show. As long as you show up, man. As long as you show up. Yeah, I'm always working. But um, understandable. I'm be cheering. I'll be cheering on the fans from Dallas. I'm gonna hopefully get up there. You know, for a couple games this year. The Steelers game, I already know for sure I'll be up there. Even if I gotta spend four hundred dollars on tickets. 
you know, but I'll, but I'll be up there. And, uh, you know, I want to pre- – I appreciate all you guys here. Thanks for the love and prayers, you know, for um, my sister-in-law, you know, and um, hopefully, you know, that they'll, they'll turn around and say, you know, she can continue the treatment. But as of right now, she they're, – they're not continuing treatment because she can't handle it. Um, but – you know, we love you guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me, Stephen. You're an inspiration, right. and keep it up, man. You, you're definitely a good man and a wonderful, wonderful you family, are, man. You, you, you are too, brother. Keep doing your thing, man. And All right, Alex. Have a good one, bro. All right, hey, you have a good day, bless, guys. Bro. Hey, Stephen. Hey, also, the the jer- remember the jersey too. I got you, man. I'm, I'm, I got you. We'll talk off air, but yeah, I got you. Man. All right, got gotcha. you. Have a good brother. night, guys. Stay safe. Have a good night, man. I'll go if you guys want me to. Yeah, get out of here, Irving. Go. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> um, nah, man. Um, just uh, you know, I appreciate the the show. I appreciate all of you guys. You know, you guys are like kind of like my second family. I appreciate um, that. you know, I know we've been talking. About you. Yeah, I know we've been talking spicy. You know, past couple of days about you know our quarter. You know, the quarterback and whatever. But you know, let, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's just you know, let, let's just support him. Um, if he is, you know, if, if, my, if the team sees him as the number one quarterback, you know, as a QB one, you know, we have to rally behind him. Uh, doesn't mean that we're not going to criticize him and hold him accountable. So, but you know, there's no reason to not be excited this season, bro. This, this is one of the best rosters that we've seen in the past in a very long time. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for the season training camp, you know, I, you know, I can't wait till the season opens up on on 9/11. So, um, so we'll see, bro. Uh, so fins up. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm praying for you, Alex. Well, you always be in our prayers, dude. All right, brother. Be good, Irving. You're All, the right, man, Irving. Brother. All right, I appreciate it. Right, Later, bro. All right. All right, Miami Sports Music's number one Miami fan morning show. Clap blockers. I'm your host, Stephen D. We're doing final thoughts of the day here. I do want to remind you guys if you are planning to attend, um. Uh, you know, the tailgate in Miami, or excuse me, in Baltimore. Uh, we are doing a big tailgate in Baltimore called the Baltimore Beatdown. I hope that you guys are there for that. In the description uh, is the link. I would love to see y'all come here and be a part of that. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, matter of fact, the link I'm putting in the chat right now as we speak. So the Baltimore Beatdown 2022. I hope everybody comes to it if you're able to. Buy your tickets. I have game tickets available to sit in a section with all Dolphin fans. And then I have tailgate tickets, too. So, uh, Oh, that sounds dope, Steven. That's like the Baltimore beatdown. Sounds like almost like the Jets one that they do over there. Yep, it's the Met, it's just like the MetLife okay. takeover. It's just our version of it. Wow. It's going to be a lot yep. of fun. I really want as many people as I can there to be there. But you need I'll to get there. your tickets before Wearing July. those aquas and orange in different your, stadiums. We need That's to buy, awesome. You need to buy your tickets before July 15th, which is like eight days away. Because okay. prices are going up. And I need to get down payments on caterers and the ravens want unused tickets that i don't sell back so okay i got you see something the next people should support hey 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 steve i'm get a hold of you so i can get mine pick mine up Uh, dude the link is in the chat just get them make it happen like that's the only way to do it man so get the link is right there but put it in the private chat too put it in okay can i say can i say my final thoughts next because, yeah, like, I, ahead, my final please, thoughts, please. and thank you, Steven. I got just got to say, you know, I could only imagine what this show is going to be. And, Irvin, I hope you're listening because I'm going after you right now. Ooh, but you could only imagine what this show is going to be, right, <laughs> during the season. It, this is going to be, be awesome, man. Keep it up, man. Let's just make sure we continue to hit the like button, sharing it, donating, supporting, and keeping it going. Whether it, As long as it's always Dolphin Thoughts, man, I love it, man. But, Irvin. You, you, before you left, your final thoughts, sir, and everybody here heard it said we have to support Tua because it's the Tua season. You may have a good point there, but that same thing also implies to the offensive line, and we don't get that energy. So when we got guys like me that don't believe in Tua, we want to replace them. We got guys in this fan base that doesn't believe in the offensive line that want to replace them. It's just so many like scenarios, like Steven says, everybody has different visions and points. But tell me, tell me one thing. The only thing that's going to help this team right now currently that I see is two players 
Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray. Oh my that's God. that's what it is, man. That's what <laughs> it is. Something now, has it. to happen. Mm-hmm. Final day, final thought. Thank you. All of you have a blessed day. Fins up. I'll catch you guys on the next Dolphin show. I love you, Pete. You're the man, brother. I'll go next. Yeah. Hey, can I go next? Much love, okay, Pete. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, fundraiser. Yeah, oh, I changed my avatar. It's Lewis. I changed my name to <laughs> Fundraiser. Because yeah. for the last two days, yesterday I got thrown out three times. Today I got thrown out twice. I've contributed fifty dollars to the show. <laughs> so, yeah. Stephen, I just wanted you to know I contribute. If people think that my my takes are horrible and they're not truthful, at least I donate money. Lewis, <laughs> Lewis, do I do I think your takes are horrible? No, I I like it's them. not horrible, Lewis. It's perfectly fine. So no, like it's all, I said, it's all in good fun. It's buddy. perfectly fine. I, I, I wanna I wanna send a shout out and prayers to my man Alex. I know we give him a lot of hell, but that you know, beyond football is, is real life and he's going through a personal level. So Alex, if you're yeah. still listening, prayers up, homie. Prayers up, you know, homie. My, my thoughts are with you. And like I said, I'm I'm the new fundraiser for the for the clock clock <laughs> show, man. I, I all I do is raise money out here in these streets. I'm out here in these streets. Be good, man. Hey, love yeah. you, boys, man. Love you, brother. Yeah, man. Be good, man. I'll go next. Be- yeah, much love, man. All right, David. So, I said this for uh, earlier. I'm going to say it again. Go to Batman's Birthday Bash on Saturday. Okay. Go to it. Is it online? It's on. Uh, yeah, it's on, uh, it's on his channel. It's uh, I think it's Tropico down in uh, uh, Winwood. I think it is. I'll have him come on and repeat it tomorrow. Yeah. We get all the. the Absolutely. Uh, and um, just like the offensive line, I believe have good co- uh, better coaching staff coaching the offensive line. I think we got the best quarterback coach as well. Uh, so I think every everybody's going to be doing good this year, coaching wise. I think they're going to get better and better. That's why I said twelve wins. They they might surpass that. I just think the coaching staff is is a lot better, and that's all I got to say. And you guys, caller, I love you. So crypto, love you. Steven, you're okay. Yep. I'll talk to you. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I love you too, Steve. Good, Y'all be good, man. Steady. And Alex, I'm praying for you. My church will be praying for you, and I'll be praying for you. All right. Stay Later. blessed, David. Be good. Yeah, take care. All right. Crypto, final thought of the day, my friend. Crypto? We and you, uh, we're praying for you, Alex. We 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 we're definitely praying for you. Prayers are out. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a good been a good day, Alex. I mean, not Alex. Um, Lu- uh, Lewis has got a good point there. We got to get the fundraising going. But hey, like, comment, subscribe, donate, and another thing. Me, this is the collusion that me and Lewis is going to do. We're going to band together and get a $10,000 lifetime band. Then we're going to pay $20,000 to get us back out of the lifetime band for a grand total of $40,000, you know, of $60,000. That would be, that'd be thir- okay, I see what you were doing. It would be $60,000, Stephen D. So we'll pay the twenty to get back, right? And then we'll start the process all over again. We'll start and then the we- process all over again. I love it. Yeah, that's how we get you a quick 60K. I'm trying to see where my thing is so I can make sure I, so people know what all the numbers are because that's the uh, that's the um, and, here, we, and we do that and we do that amongst the whole panel and, and, and we do that like a panel full of lifetime bands and re and re institutions. Man, Stephen K. Ooh, Stephen D. That's gonna be that's gonna be some big bucks, man. Big bucks, no whammies. You yeah man, you're looking at 300k just on the panel full of guys, man. What'd you I think? Hey man, I, from your mouth to God's ears, let's make it happen. Um, <laughs> Jason said, "Crypto ain't never donated ten cents." Shaking my head. Oh man, he called you out, Stop Crypto. It. He called you out, Crypto. Yo, this, you now out. not only this guy is in my wallet. He said <laughs> I didn't donate ten cents. I can't believe this guy. Who is this imposter? Who 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 be this? Who is this? Yeah, I know. All right, Crypto, I love having you on. You're the man. Hey, brother. color man, make sure you pick up Here some. Here we go. Hot I got it. So it's it's fifty dot. It's ten dollars for ten minutes. Yeah. Fifty dollars for a day. For one day, yeah. It's two hundred dollars for a week. Okay, because it's, it's five. Th- it's, yep, it's a thousand dollars for two months. Two months. 
and it's yep. ten grand for a lifetime. Now, if you want to get go. back on, it's twenty dollars on a ten do- on a ten minute timeout on a ten dollar timeout. If you do a fifty dollar day band, you can pay a hundred dollars to get back on. If you do a two hundred dollar week band, it's it's one of the only ones that's not double. You uh you can pay two fifty. It's two fifty to get yeah, back on. Two fifty for the week band. And then band. on a thousand dollar band, you have to pay two thousand to get. Or no, on for a thousand dollars. No, on a thousand dollar, you can't. You can't. Um, you're gone. Like I don't think you can. I don't think there is a get one to get back. And then you the, just should and, double them up the rest of the way, all the way up. Yeah, it should be all right. So two thousand for two just months. double it up the rest of the way. And then and then ten thousand for a lifetime. You got to pay twenty thousand to come back. Yep. Right. And then there you uh, go. And then a special guest. You can't do it. Um, you can ten can't minute do a lifetime time on special guest. You, you can't do a lifetime on special guest, but you but you but you can do ten minute timeout. 10 minute timeouts on on a uh, special guest. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, only a 10 minute timeout. Yep. Yeah. And then Colors got to give us some um go get us some chili from Publix while he's out there riding mm-hmm. around. Yeah, him that'll Lance, work too. Him and Lance Armstrong is out there strolling the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I've I've now beat Rider Color cuz I'm riding. So, right. <laughs> that's the mobile beat writer. All right, all right, all right, crypto. Be good, bro. Love having you. All right, me on, man. man. Catch y'all later, man. Be good. No problem. All right, color. Uh you, sir, before I let you go, you are going to be the final thought of the day. Uh would YouTube uh, allow you to make that big of a payment? Uh no, but you know how you can make those big payments? Right here on Cash App or PayPal. As a matter of fact, if you want to donate, we are uh, thirty-five dollars away from today's goal. So if you guys want to finish that last thirty-five dollars, do it on Cash App or PayPal, right? Um, there's less fees that come out of Cash App or PayPal. YouTube takes like fifty percent of the money. So I think it's like forty-eight percent they take out. Uh, forty-seven point six, something, something stupid. I did the numbers on it one day. It's like forty-eight percent they take out, and then Cash App and PayPal only take out like. At the most, they take out like five to ten percent tops. I don't even think they take that out. So, um, yeah. So if you donate on Cash App or PayPal, it's always better. But you know, anytime you guys donate, it's it, I'm grateful for it, and it goes such a long way into helping the channel grow. So, uh, all right, color final thought of the day, my friend. Well, you know, y'all can sugarcoat over it. You can put it out of your mind. You can. Hold on your sit on your hands and act like it don't matter. But somebody I cannot believe nobody is is concerned as I am about the fact that we're playing the Patriots on 9-11. And nobody like, look, I'm just starting a GoFundMe to be able to match whatever they're going to be paying the refs, because I don't know how anybody doesn't see that as a problem, first of all. And second of all, I think that uh, I think I think Irving is right. You just got to rally behind what, you know, our team. And that's where we're at right now. We can all, Pete's right. He can call for better. He always can call for better. But to Pete, I would just leave him on this Thursday afternoon with one more thought that when I look up at the South Florida skies today, all I see is blue skies and sunshine. Blue skies. That's what we got going on down here. That's what it's going to be. Red roses too. So I'll leave you all with that. Okay. All right. Hey, look, man. I love having you on. You're the man, brother. Appreciate you, Steve. And also, I I I I don't have anybody to pray to on behalf of Alex, but I will certainly put a word out to Odin. Hey, man. You, whoever it is, just do, a, anything helps. That's good. And I tell people all the time, prayer works. Prayer's real, in my opinion. But, right on. But color, I love having you on, brother. I'll see you tomorrow. You gonna be on a spread kindness Friday? Sure thing, man. Long as all I'm right. awake. Should be good. I'm excited Take about it. Take it easy, buddy. All right, man. Be easy. Miami Sports Music's number one Miami fan morning show, Clack Blackers. I am your host, Stephen D. I hope you all enjoyed it. We had a fun show today. Uh, this was my – look, I, I I do find it funny at the beginning of the day. I was like, all right, I'm going to try to talk something different. We ended up getting on Tua anyway. We ended up getting off. I think it's a matter – like, I don't think you're ever going to run away from Tua. Um, nor do I want to when we're winning games this year. 
Um, but, you know, I hope it's just not as so dis- divisive um, one day. That's what I truly hope. Um, all right. You guys have supported everything I've ever done. Uh, the link is in the chat. If you could go to this channel, it's Horizon Cinemas. It's my new venture that I have going on. Um, I, I, it's a company. I'm their media and community director. Going to be doing YouTube uh, stuff for them, live stream, social media. Go follow them, Horizon Cinemas. Do me that favor. And tonight at 6 p.m., I'm doing a live stream um, from, from there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you guys go support that. Watch it. Hit the like button. Share. Um, it is the Thor release. Thor is released today uh, in movie theaters everywhere. So we're doing a premiere, and we're going to have trivia and cosplay, and it should be fun. So make sure you all check that out. should be a lot of fun. Um, and that's at 6 p.m. tonight. And then tomorrow, Spread Kindness Friday. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. So make sure you all check that out. And I love you all. You all the best fans in the world. Um, can we get that last $35 donation? Come on. We're $35 away. Uh, concrete. Are you going to get cursing Steven? No, it's a family platform. There'll be no cursing on it. Uh, it's, it's, um, it'll be another family field. The goal is to try to get a lot of people on it. Concrete, you know? So yeah, just like my morning show, no cursing. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to take anybody, you know, maybe, maybe I might take somebody. I'm not sure. This is a brand new thing. I'm not sure how it's going to look yet. It's going to be, um, this is still a trial and error thing with, with, with them. And this is the first ever episode, first ever live show. We're doing it all in one shot. Uh, not normally how you would go about doing it, but you know, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a good time and I look forward to it. So I love you all. You all the best fans in the world. I'll see y'all tomorrow right here. On Clock Blockers, home of the number one Miami fan morning show. Right here on the Miami Sports Music Podcast Network. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace. Fins up.